Yo, hello, welcome, what's up, what's up, what's up, how you guys doing, welcome to the stream, it's a Monday, which is great, because that means that, um, 
Uh, it's another day closer towards Christmas. Pog? Pog? Um, yeah, pretty much what we, what, uh, that's about it. Like, Christmas is on its way. I'm not really stoked for Thanksgiving. I don't think I've ever in my life said, like, fuck yeah. It's Thanksgiving season. Not saying I don't like delicious food. I'm just saying that I also think that most of the food that I've been eating is not delicious. Did you just make a paper airplane and throw it at me? What, what in the 911? You crashed it. Not good. Thanks for the, I appreciate the effort, but it was not, it was misplaced. Not good. I'm smoking a turkey because I'm tired of experiencing shit tur turkey for 32 years. That's what I'm talking about, man. That's what I'm talking about. I love, I love that. Um, smoking turkey, smoking any meat is a labor of love. It is a love labor process. But um, it's definitely worth it. I just don't think that turkey as a bird is worth the effort. I'm not saying you can't make good turkey. I'm just saying that the majority of turkey is bad and even the best turkey is oftentimes just as good as a really good other item, okay? And I love cold cut turkey, so if you're making me a fire turkey sando with your with your turkey, like dude, pop off. I will I will absolutely if you have butter rub Cajun turkey and you baste that thing and you, and it's well made, well cooked, like fine, cool. But ham, you know, even a bad cook can make a good ham. Ham it's just a little bit easier to convince me that it's, um, yeah. Ham is overrated? No, no, it's not. And if, if not ham, why not chicken? Like, chicken is a better bird, all right? You can make it many different ways. I think the reason I don't like turkey that much is because if you think about it, think about how much interior meat there is to exterior, okay? The problem is that all the flavoring, all the seasoning, anything that isn't just turkey is on the outside. Yeah, you can baste it. Yeah, you can fill it, but whatever. But chicken, chicken's is big. Duck and quail are way better, but chicken, chicken's tiny. You can get so much exterior chicken coated in all of that good, good. And it's way less of, it's way better of like a sauce delivery vehicle. You ran a citrus herb crusted pork roast by the wife, couldn't get her on board. That sounds good. I'm not a huge pork roast fan. I'm not a huge pork chop fan or or anything, but like a good cranberry thyme. A good ooh. Mmm. What am I gonna make for Friendsgiving? This is really the thing that I need to figure out. Kaylee wants to make a crisp. Warm apple pie. I not sure what I want to make for Christmas. A warm Christmas apple pie on Where? Thanksgiving Day. <laughs> Where the fuck did you come from? Well, you said it wrong, so that's how you say it. All right. Apple, warm Christmas apple pie <laughs> on Christmas Day. Mmm, okay. Thank you. Put a bra on. Anyways. She wants to make that. Um, her sh shoulder's doing better. She wants to make that. I, I'm fine with that. I might, I, like, I don't know what I'm going to make. I can't just make casual bagels. Dude, you don't just make bagels for, for dinner. As much as I would love to, you don't. You just don't. So. I could make a ham. I've never made ham.
Well, it's Friendsgiving, so you have to make it. Ham with brown sugar and mustard sauce slaps. Hey, Kaylee. Do you eat ham? You love ham? Love. Okay. Why? Because what if we made ham? I don't know how to make ham. I don't know how to make anything, but um, I do know that it needs to be hot. What? It needs to be what? Hot. Hot? hot. Yeah, yeah, you do need to cook and it. salty. Yes. Salt. Yes, hot and salty, the two things See, that are ham. We should practice making a ham in preparation of making ham. Yeah, I think we should do a pro we try our run ham. A cooking. Uh, you could do, you could live stream us trying to cook a warm Christmas ham. It's not Christmas, it'll be for Thanksgiving. Oh, a warm Thanksgiving ham. <laughs> okay, maybe. Okay. Okay. All right. Yeah, Thanksgiving is uh, next week. Um, best ham recipe. Best. Oven. This is very important. Honey baked ham, smoking and grilling with AB. Christmas recipe, Gordon Ramsay. Let's look at both and see which one. Let's start with the. Let's start with the. Okay, see this looks like something my 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 parents would make and that means it's good. I trust this man. What's good, everybody? Mr. Welcome back Big to my channel, Chef. Smoking and grilling with me, AB. That's right. You read the title right. I'm getting ready to show you guys just how easy it is to make a honey baked ham. And we friend the copycat, the honey baked ham from the Honey Bake Store. Now, if you guys are uh, lucky enough to live, you know, close to that store or have one in your community, and you probably already know about the taste, right? But this year, I'm going to show you just how you can make it. You don't have to, like, call two weeks in advance to get. Honey baked ham is going to make you think what the fuck that ain't you're going to be like god damn that looks so unhealthy and you'd be right Get you but one for oh. thanksgiving i'm going to just show you how easy it is and this right here look here's the culprit right here look got myself a 10 pound ham it's already spiral cut right spiral cut is the way and then i'm going to be doing it hey listen you heard right and you what? see right yes I am gonna be doing it in a crock pot. Hey, super simple. You know, just, I can't, hey, I don't wanna over talk it. We finna go over these ingredients. Okay. And then we finna get it. Okay, let's go over these, uh, names, okay. these ingredients along with the measurements, right? So we got two tablespoons of butter. Obviously, you can see it's melted. Look, three tablespoons of honey, one and a half cups of granulated sugar, a half a teaspoon of seasoned salt, a half a teaspoon of onion powder. A half a teaspoon of ground cinnamon. Okay. A half a teaspoon of nutmeg. A quarter teaspoon of ground ginger. Yep. <clears throat> it's pretty normal stuff. Of ground clove, I got everything here. And a quarter teaspoon paprika. All right, we got everything. And just start right here. First thing you want to do is you want to start with your melted butter. Put the butter in. Then after that, you want to add your honey to it all. Add the honey. All right, and easy. You want to get it to this jar right here is because it. All right, and then you just basically there. rub it in you here. Want to get some of that flavor that we just mixed, that honey. And that that butter. Whoa! Whoa! So we're just Whoa! Just like this. You see that right there? 
<laughs> almost look like a deck of cards, huh? That's what right. I was thinking, so now, a AB. I was thinking a deck of cards, AB. Uh, I'll use this. <laughs> He's like, Let's just go ahead and just start adding some of this just all right. to it. So you just fucking so cover the honey go butter. And massage it and work it in, you know, and all of the, you know, the individual slices and all of that. All right, you got to make sure you the coat the hummusy with the honey it, butter. I, anything left, I'll pour it on I want you to I absolutely anything. glaze the hummusy. This is all the prep that we need right here. You know, so let me just add Then you got to, once you're done, you got to finger oh, blast the hummusy. Really get in there. It got to be watering after seeing this. What? Everybody can just imagine what oh, he's in mouth. with melted butter and honey, you know, tastes like. So I'm going to just take, take it like this. Come on, man. Put my hand around it. And then get in between these slices. All right, so you guys just see me do put everything in there. I kind of like cleaned off my gloves or whatever. You probably was imagining like how is this gonna fit in there? I don't want this to like flop down or timer. All right, so I've already turned on the power. I'm gonna tell you how this works right here. Listen, if you want to do it on low, you would hit low. We change this time up to. Four hours, like low four to half, four. Four hours. Oh, because you're gonna four. finish it in the you oven, know, I bet. You can even go five hours if you're gonna do it on low, and then hit start. But we're not gonna do that. I'm gonna change this. I'm gonna put it on high, and we all know when we're using the crock pot, when you cut your time in half, right? So if we're gonna put it on high. Now I'm gonna set my time. To Listen, if you have the time, all right, you gotta do low, all right, low. Two hours. All right, no you two hour I'm bullshit. Not. Let's do it. Okay. And these glazed hams, we're going to take that juice, we're going to mix it, and then we're going to boil it, and then we're going to put that back on here. So now, right now, we got a challenge. We got to get this out of here. Once we get it out, we'll go ahead and put it in this pan, and then we'll work on the next step. Okay, you can see I oh, got it out. Man. Look, it's going to be nice, moist. You know, uh, now it's going to be hard to like. It's kind of boiled. It's going to be a but... challenge getting it out. I'm not going to lie to you. Once you get it out, look right here. <laughs> hey, listen, you it's going to be a challenge, honestly. With just two, you know, two wooden spoons and just got it out. I flipped it over, put it on the side, and I picked it up. This right here is ready to go into the, uh, go into the oven. Now, let me go ahead and move to the next step so I can show you guys just how easy this is and what to do next. Now, you see all of this here, right? I'm going to make it real simple. I'm going to use this term dump and go. And that's what I mean. Look, Dump and go. Sugar. Holy shit. <laughs> Holy shit. AB, wait a minute. And the rest of your ingredients, you just want to get it all in here. Look, and grab yourself a whisk, and then you just want to make sure that you mixed everything. He you know, said thoroughly. sugar. <laughs> okay, look, I want to make sure I said this and make sure you guys know this. Listen, we don't want to discard the juices that came from the ham, right? This is what you want because we got a purpose for this later. All right. Now. We're going to take, you know, this was our little Thanksgiving holiday mix. So I'm going to just use my hand like this. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and just sprinkle it over here on the top, just like you guys see. I want to well, get it all over. How much? And you want to keep one hand. You want that to be, you know, that be your dry side. But you got it. You see me putting it all in everywhere. Now. This would be a perfect time for you to go ahead and heat your oven up, right? Holy you heat your oven up, shit. You want to put it on broil. All so right. When I say broil, I mean 525. We got to put some heat in there. We're going to cook this on here just a little bit, just for a little while, just to get it going. 525, right. so he's going to use this to caramelize? Sure to Give it a little sprinkle on the front. Now, do you need that much? Now, look how much. Now that we have that, <laughs> look at that now mess. My, my oven is up to temp. We have five. Did he use all degrees. of that I'm though? Stick this in there, and we're gonna watch it. We just want it to bubble just a little bit, right? You know, from that heat, we're gonna caramelize some of this sugar on top. Yeah. And then we're gonna take it out, and then we're gonna move to that. Hey, this the ooh wee step after this. I'm not questioning AB. Now, I just don't think it, he used you can see all of it. It's starting to glaze inside of there. And then when you take it out, it should look like that. Now, you see that darker edge right there? That's when it starts to caramelize and almost, you know, starting to burn, right? So after that, then what you want to do is you want to take your sugar mix with all your ingredients, right? And then you want to take, that's why we saved it, because you want to add some of them ham juices to it. Really, it should only be about three tablespoons. That was a little bit more, you know what I mean? <laughs> wait, 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 really, what? And then you want to take, that's why we saved it, because you want to add some of them ham juices to it. Really, it should only be about three tablespoons. That was three a more. tablespoons. You, know I mean? you can add a whole cup. I tell you, that's a little bit more. So once you bring it up to temp, 
you know, you get the heat underneath it, you know, you want to keep it moving like we making a gravy. You keep whisking it, but you see, once it starts to uh, boil, it does that right there. Now, Frothy. it would have thickened up a little bit better without so much of that uh, oh, the foam hey. like on the top had I had not put so much of the ham juice in there. But now, this part right here, you guys can do whatever. You see, I started off using that baster, but now I went ahead and just decided to He just to said, fuck it. Right He's a, I started basting, right and there. I was like, That's why am I doing it. this? <laughs> okay, now I'm going to put it back in the oven, right? Remember, it's at 525. We got to keep our eyes on it. You know what I mean? Because we don't want this to, like, caramelize and burn and turn it all black. So put it in there, pull up a seat, and watch. It should only take about three to five minutes. So let's get it in. <laughs> he really thought about that one. All right. Oh. And that there is a honey-baked ham. Look at that right there. Now, this is what I was talking about. Like, if you let it stay on there, stay inside just a little too long, I'm gonna say that's not too long, but if you don't want it to be as dark right here, all you gotta do is just take it out maybe 30 oh, seconds Lord. before, you know, before now. But I'm gonna let it cool, and then we finna hurry up and take us a shot. <laughs> now y'all seen it? Listen, I ain't gonna even fake. I done already had me a, I done tore off a couple of pieces, right? <laughs> even got myself the bread, put it in the middle, folded it up, and got down old school. Hey, so I'm gonna go ahead and eat me another one. Oh my goodness, look at that right there. You can see that glaze just, uh. <laughs> I mean, I believe it, though. It's just fucking so much sugar, honey. I hate to do this to y'all. <laughs> really, I do. Can I have some, please, AB? Mm. <laughs> I just need to make something that makes somebody make that face right there. Oh my lord, he's nutting. Why not a roast beef? Did you just watch? Did you just see AB have a spiritual moment with this ham and then say, well, I would prefer a roast beef? No, dude. F no. All right, but listen. All right, so let's go directly against it. AB versus GR. Christmas would never be the same without a beautiful, delicious, honey-glazed ham. Across that long Christmas period, this can get you out of jail quite easily. Ham salads, ham sandwiches, ham, egg and chips. This is a gammon. What we're going to do now is cook it so it becomes a ham. Into a pan. First things first, the water. What? We're boiling it? Oh, man. Cover it man. completely so the whole gammon cooks evenly. The important part now is adding flavor in there. Carrots in. The leeks. Oh my God, I feel like now. I'm about to fucking, I swear to God, I'm about to, the, if I hear this music, somebody is skipping through the holiday square, the, the snow is falling, the camera's panning back, there's a bunch of traffic, people have a bunch of bags everywhere, and then all of a sudden the cop's looking out the window, he's like, we're never gonna catch him this year. <laughs> like, it's just like... Spray it, the broth becomes... Spirals Once better. the ham is cooked, that stock is extraordinary. The base to a fantastic soup. Onion, not finely chopped, and in. Homemade ham stock is packed with flavor, so it's great for making soups, sauces, stews, and risottos. Plus, it can be... Gordon Ramsay cooks like he is on a timer and trying to do world record pace. He has never seen a 113. Frozen, so it's there when you need it. Pan down. Peppercorns. Lightly crush. Then, to give it a Christmas flavor, I'm adding crushed coriander seeds. I have those. Two cinnamon sticks and four aromatic bay leaves. All right, I got, I got all of those. And then turn it down, let it simmer, and then skim it. Cooking a ham isn't hard, but it does take time. This two kilo joint takes two and a half hours to simmer before it's glazed and baked. However, it is worth it because it tastes absolutely delicious. I trust. This might be something I make for shitty cooking, but two and a so half hours is glaze. too long. Very, very simple. Demerara sugar. Madeira. Jork, I agree. That sweetens the glaze, basically a fortified wine. A couple of tablespoons. In. And then, share vinegar. Again, a couple of tablespoons. Honey in. Nice. Bring that up to the boil. That's a lot! The longer you leave it on the stove, the darker it becomes. You want your ham really nice and dark, then cook out the glaze for three or four minutes. That, I'm happy with. Lovely. All right, well, this looks really... I didn't get enough 
in like info on how he's making this. This is like artistic. He's like anybody can do this. Just put some of the, put right. some shit in. Put some shit in. Now. Fucking bare hand your boiling ham onto the plate. Carefully. I'm sorry, but if I'm taking this, I would literally have to send Kaylee out of the room. I'd gotta be like, yeah, you gotta go upstairs, okay? You're not allowed to see this shit. She'd see this and she would never eat it. She, no matter what it would look like at the end, this would be imprinted in her mind. She's never eating Smith, ham again. The string, nice and gently, peel back, get rid of the skin, then crisscross it. Don't push too deep. Let the knife do the work. Bold of you to assume my knife is. Sharp. I'm like taking a fucking like, ah! like it's all jagged. Stud it with some clothes. I, okay. Look at it. Me it writing like fuck you in clothes. The glaze and just carefully cover. Start in the middle and let it work round. Oh. Oh. God. <laughs> God. Gently, 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 gently. God. Work round. Oh. God. Gently, 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 gently. It's not even roasted yet, and it looks amazing. Beautiful. Gordo! Half the glaze. Over now. Into the oven. 15 minutes. Jesus Christ. It started to color. Get the rest of the glaze. God, it looks like ass though. And pour that I'm over. sorry, AB's looked great from the start because he was using spiral cut ham, which is basically like, you can't fuck it up. It's thinly, it's already thin cut, so you can just rip chunks off of it easy. It's Look nice. It. Wow. I know he's not done. The more effort, passion, and love you show the ham now, the results are tenfold. Whenever you say, Gordon. In five minutes, Zip. out of the oven. And glaze again. I'm back into the oven now, at 190 degrees. And we're going to baste and roast for 35 minutes. Delicious. Next, I'm going to make a pear and saffron chutney. This is a fruity relish that works brilliantly with a sweet, aromatic ham. First things first, slice the onion. Fry the chopped onion in olive oil without colouring it. The important part about this stage is the fact that we're going to Layer the chutney with textures. Yeah. From onion to apple to pear. Got it. And a nice little block of ginger. Grating the ginger so the ginger sort of disappears with the onions. AB is then like, the AB, AB is like, bro, um, just get a f bag of sugar, some honey, and you're just going to cover this bitch and put it in the oven after you put it in the crock pot. A good grating of nutmeg, followed by a teaspoon of cinnamon, and a teaspoon of cayenne pepper to give it a kick. Delicious. I recently spent a lot of time in India, where chutneys originated, and discovered that whereas British-style chutneys tend to be cooked and are usually quite sweet, Indian ones are normally fresh, spicier, and quite sour. Okay. Next. Cool. Tomorrow sugar. Christmas amount of work. Yeah, you're right. This is like Once that sugar's dissolved. Like, are you fucking kidding me? Go. This is give me anxiety because if you mess up any part of this, you're like, God, my fucking honey glaze, it's ruined. All in. That's gonna give it this really nice sort of sweet and sour flavor. From there, our fruit. These are Williams pears. Pear is the star of the chutney, so keep it quite rustic. What the fuck does that even mean, Gordon? What, you, where do I? We, you book. want me to walk into Ralph's and go, "Yo, where are your rustic pears?" Uh, a lot, a lot of, a lot of modern, mid-century is like, where are your rustic pears kept? What the fuck? A lovely contrast to the sweetness of the pears. Shout out to all the pears. Texture, I eat pears. A handful of sultanas. What are sultanas? Pinch of saffron. Cranbe cranberries? This gives it a really nice depth, a rich golden color. Saffron is the world's most expensive spice. Oh, it's made good. from the dried stigmas of the saffron crocus flower. Yep. Just and as a general rule of thumb, the deeper the color of the threads, the better the quality. Got it. So just just sprinkle <laughs> just sprinkle a fucking uh, handful of saffron in there. And to make it lighter, the zest and juice of two oranges. 
The orange and the saffron go brilliantly well together. Just squeeze that in there. This chutney's brilliant with ham, fantastic in salads, but equally as delicious with fish. Whether it's a roasted cod, a grilled fillet of mackerel, it goes brilliantly well. Bring that up to the boil. Cook that out for 15 minutes. Now, tomatoes going at the end. And that brings a certain amount of freshness to the chutney. OK. Really helps to give it that nice texture. God, I Mix fucking hate this song, man. I can't get... No, oh, God! I have... I, it rubs... I hate it so much. I can't stand traditional Christmas music. It is the trigger, all right? No, well, no, well, no, well, no, well! Born is the kingdom of Israel, you know? Just over and over and over and over and over again, forever and ever, the same song never changing for the next 50 to 100 more years. You're gonna never hear any other song. It's just the same one. Somebody else is singing it. It pisses me off. Why don't we get... We get new Halloween music every Halloween. Alright? Where the fuck is the new Christmas music? Who hurt you? The big Christmas music industrial complex. 30 seconds. What's great about this chutney is that as it matures, its flavor gets better and better, and it will keep for up to six months. What? That's actually tight, I didn't know that. And that is gonna deliver amazing flavor across Christmas. And look, my goodness me. All right, that uh, is fit for a king. Well. It does look incredible, though. When it's cut. But, I'm sorry, Gordo. I'm not making that. This guy, AB, told me to put this bit- Here's AB. AB said- AB said, Put this bitch in a crock pot for two hours on high, three hour- two- four hours on low. And then, combine a pound of sugar with your dripping, cover it, and then put it in the oven. This is the one. We should still definitely try and make this. This is the goat. Hey, I know y'all. Iron Chef episode? No, we can't, Mardok. I don't want to watch an Iron Chef. A po' boy, the best chili, the best ribeye. These are all, like, incredible... Mac and cheese video. Those are all right. All right. So here's some things, though. I got to be honest with you. I have I have a bit of a confession to make with mac and cheese. I think that macaroni and cheese, by and large, is done fucking awful. And unless it is perfect, it is not going to be worth my time to make or eat. Okay. And I'm worried because I already can tell by the cheese that he's using. That this is gonna be dope, traditional, ma whatever mac and cheese you'd expect to get when you go to like a big family dinner and it's not the mac and cheese I wanna eat. Okay? It ain't it. Well, Show me cookie. your ingredients. Monterey Jack and Sharp, I'm out of here. I ain't doing it. It's the feeling? Yeah, it's just, I, it's not here. Family breakfast ideas. This is what I'm talking about. Welcome back to Smoking and Grilling with me, AB. Now check it out. You guys have seen this in the past. Listen, this is the Creole breakfast skillet, right? Super easy to make. And look at look at those. No, 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 no. Hold on, hold on. I already this is not I don't want to make this one. Is this the whole thing? Is this one? Holy shit, what is this? You know what would I pair that with? Hey, how about some nice sweet? You know what I mean? This is just a French toast casserole. Super simple and easy. You guys can look at the ingredients again. You know what I mean? To see there's not a whole lot that goes into it. And then I got to say it like this. You know what? Sometimes just simple works, folks. We don't have to add all of that stuff to make it, you know, just like turn out over the top. I promise you this right here is a little bit different. You know what I mean? Instead of doing the individual uh, French toast, you can do it like this. 
and you know what I mean? If you got a family to four to six people, this right here will do it for you. Good now, you know, Lord. You guys can see that we're making a little bit of that caramel. This right? man loves his br like white powders. Dude, sugar. you just fucking you know hold on. Like, like this is too much. Like, you know, I look at this know, and I'm like, it's good. Or a casserole dish. But like, it's this is too much, right. man. I, I think I'd have I'd have trouble eating this. It don't matter though. His honey ham is his El Jericho. I have no. I'm saying for breakfast, hell nah. Hell nah. I want to know how to make a po' boy though. I have a video for you. We were just here to find the easiest way to make a ham so we could try and make a ham for our friends during Friendsgiving. I don't give a fuck about Gordon Ramsay. Maddie has one. This is Marika! Come here! This is Marika! You know what her nickname is? Which is gonna be really funny. I call her Turkey. She's like my best friend. This is her house. She's letting me cook here. I call her Turkey. Anybody that knows Maddie or Marika know that I call her Turkey. That's your nickname. Cause that's my TV voice, man. Chill out, bro. Welcome to the world of Thanksgiving. I'm Maddie Matheson, and I'm going to show you how to make a Thanksgiving traditional <laughs> feast. Maddie is great. I'm so glad that I got to do a cooking show with him a couple years back hey, uh, with feast. Twitch. It was this tons is of fun. Not some fucking half-assed. This is how you make a fucking. This is how you call a pizza joint, order a pizza. This is how you make a fucking Thanksgiving feast, my man. So what we want to have for a big Holy feast, shit. you guys start off with what? A big old turkey. We're going to have some roasted carrots with some roasted apple cider that mash That looks good, and I would make, make that. Some sweet potato butternut squash Fuck that. baked mash. We're going to be also making some Yukon gold cream cheese baked mash. I okay. like mashes. Also, we're going to be making a traditional stuffing. First, yeah. Oh, turkey. fuck. Stuffing. I'm not doing that. I think stuffing is pretty is is third on the list of food. And I think that if we're going to be honest with everyone, we don't if we don't need it. We don't need it. We can we can we're going to be I don't <laughs> if you're talking about stuffing on a grand list of all the foods, what do what do I mean? Stop getting mad at me because you have put yourself in some Stockholm Syndrome cage where you're unable to look at Thanksgiving food as anything other than bland white people food. All right? Like, I, we've got a Filipino. We've got a Mexican. We have two Filipinos, a Mexican and a very passionate Frenchman who are going to be making food for our Thanksgiving, all right, along with us. The whitest thing that we're making is the ham, all right? We don't need, we don't need to go down the list of the, the great, the great hits, all right? I, no, but none of us, no, we don't want stuffing. I want lechon. I want like, uh, I, I don't even know. Are you collecting them? <laughs> That's fucked up. I'm like, I'm just saying, like, you just don't need, you don't need to eat, you don't, like, Thanksgiving food, Thanksgiving, Friendsgiving is just everybody getting together and giving, and eating a lot of food. That's it. I think Thanksgiving food sucks. I think that hol Thanksgiving food, as it is on the spectrum of foods, it's not good. It isn't. It's just not. It's not. It's tasteless. I just, I don't think that it's, I don't think that it's a problem to have a love for mashed potatoes, right? Like, that's a year-round food that's good. All right? I think turkey is the worst bird. Um, I think stuffing is fine, all right? But I think ham is great. So that's why ham is being made. I think ham is great. I think pumpkin pie is overrated as shit. I think apple pie is a year-round thing that can be really good. I'm trying to think what else. Yeah, duck is so good. Duck is incredible. Um, but, like, I really, truly can't. 
I can't think of any other time in my life where I've gone to other people's Thanksgivings where they've had food that isn't just turkey stuffing. Like, all right, you know what's better that you know what's better than mashed potatoes that I don't think is a Thanksgiving meal, but I definitely do have it at Thanksgiving. Sweet potatoes with brown sugar and marshmallows on it. That's what I'm talking about. Those are good. What up, Rob? Turkey time. It's a beautiful, local, organic, sustainable Ontario turkey. It's got some sage in it for effect. I'm gonna use that sage later, though. A lot of people are gonna yell at me. Because I just want to see the. I just want to see the. I don't care about the fucking turkey. All right, look. Called stuffing. So to make the stuffing, you need bread, and we're gonna break up all the bread. Stuffing is mid. Example A. The main ingredient is just white bread. Up all the bread. Put that into a casserole dish. We're gonna have an entire casserole dish full, lined with crunchy, beautiful, amazing, lovely stuffing. Ah! You know what makes the most noise in the entire world? So French oh. toast is mid. Yes. Kind of fucking stupid. <laughs> Yes, French toast is worse than pancakes and worse than waffles, which are the best. Therefore, it is the worst of all of these sweet breakfast foods. Doors and kitchens. We got a whole pound of butter in here. I got a bunch of onions and celery. Yeah, just egg just soaked bread that you grill. Like, what is wrong with you guys? Like, Chicken like stock, a lot of sage, some parsley. Really simply, you want that that poultry taste. This is one of my all-time actual favorite things. This is poultry seasoning. I'm just gonna put in like two. Poultry. Big that is so much. Salt. Good fucking lord. Never achieve that stuffing flavor until you add this. And we're just gonna literally let that cook down. Some people put chestnuts, walnuts, raisins, sausages, all this crazy stuff. But for me, my family, this is this is the kind of. The stuffing that we would have. See, I think this is, I think Maddie has fallen into a trap, okay? He's fallen into a trap that many of us fall into. And I'm not even going to say it's wrong. I'm saying there's a time and place for your family's recipes at Thanksgiving. And a lot of you getting mad at my takes for what I'd like to make and bring to Friendsgiving are confusing the two. Friendsgiving is not we celebrate the existence of fucking, like, you know, colonizers or whatever. That It's just like, hey, everybody has this weekend off, so you guys want to get together and get a lot of food. It's way different. Yeah, it's way different. Maddie's, Maddie's out here like, my family made this, and it's kind of weird we made it this way, but fuck it, I like it. It reminds me at home. Doesn't mean it's right, okay? <laughs> that was so much poultry seasoning. Go eat your pe sweet potato s'mores. You're looking to cook this maybe half an hour till it's nice golden brown, nice and roasted on top. I'm not, I'm not some super chef. I'm just the best chef in the universe. I said that before, probably. I don't know. But right now, I'm free balling it. Mashed potatoes. I don't know. Half an hour. I'm just nice saying that does not look good to me. This is your God. This isn't even how I would have made stuffing. Stuffing, I think, also needs to have turkey in it, too. Or some level of, like, you know... But, like, the worst... The worst problem... But, see, do you see? This is this is why it's so frustrating. People are like, no, this is mid-stuffing. Bro, you're looking at Matty Matheson and being like, your fucking stuffing is mid. You don't understand. Here's how my parents make it. And then you make it, and, and then somebody's like, your parents make stuffing like a lunatic. Here's how my parents make it. With cranberry cran canned. And then somebody's like, you're insane. Like... It's because all of the food is so desperately mid that everybody's trying to make it seem like something else, and you grow up eating it, so it reminds you of home. It's just mid food. Just mid food, all right? Just don't defend stuffing. How do you make the... These roasted carrots look fire. Carrots. These carrots are amazing. We got the apple cider vinegar. We got apple cider. And we got some maple syrup. Watch this technique. I got all of these things. I show you the technique. All right, I have carrots, Maddie. And then we're Diagonal. Gonna turn it back towards you. 
Diagonal. Turn it back towards you. Diagonal. Turn it back towards you. Turn it back towards you. And what you have are these like nice little oh! pieces of carrots that will roast beautifully. Vegetable fucking jewels. Oh my god. Okay, we're gonna throw some butter around in the carrots. That's it, that's all I can shake. What do you guys mean, ew, floor butter? Bro, who cares if it's got a little more seasoning? All right, everybody complains when, oh, I need more seasoning. There you go. Add a little bit of apple cider thing. I've got that. Syrup. All right, a shit ton a of maple syrup. Okay. And quite a bit of that, bit too. Of a nice little time. Time. I have time. I'm making all this tomorrow. All of this stuff once this cooks down. This is all those flavors. Acid, fat, fucking sweetness. Floor so gotta eat. together and you got something that's called a balanced dish. <laughs> Beautiful. Let that roast reduce, turn into kind of like this like carrot gastric reduction. All that stuff is going to caramelize and roast and make beautiful carrots. I'm going to throw our carrots. We're going to maximize this. There we go. Boom. Okay. Now this guy fucking cooks for a lot of people. This dude just said, yo, we double decker the oven. Boom. Now we're steaming what's underneath. It's time in the fucking universe is about to happen right now. My favorite thing to make out of all of this is actually the cream corn. No. I love creamed corn. It's fucking so gross, much. dude. If you love creamed corn, everybody loves creamed corn. Nobody loves cream. Cream corn. Nobody loves cream so corn. So we got the butter melted. Now we're just gonna add onions, which is our base. And then we're just gonna cook these onions down until they're translucent. Is there no high flame? This is just fucking thing. Uh, add a little more maple syrup. All the maple syrup. So you're looking for the consistency of like really thick. <laughs> I've, all I've learned from Maddie is he's never afraid to throw half like a bottle of olive oil at anything or half barfing. a bottle of maple syrup. <laughs> a nice, beautiful double smoked bacon. Get this nice and crispy. And then right. oh, no. we're gonna add our halved Brussels sprouts in here. Oh no. And have that as our base. Have nobody say shit, okay? Nobody say shit. Throw them in there, mix them around, get the bacon fat all in there. Beautiful, bacon fat's going, Brussels sprouts roasting, super hard roast on those. A little salt, a little pepper. So he browns his bacon first. And then when these come out, we'll hit them with a little fresh orange juice. What? And they'll be real nice. Okay. We're getting there, guys. Almost hey, all the fixes what's up? Doing. Nothing's up? I saw Brussels sprouts. You... No, we're just watching Maddie make I Thanksgiving. I saw Brussels sprouts. No, we're just watching Maddie make <laughs> I some... I saw... I saw <laughs> you, well, How would you have seen Brussels sprouts? I saw... Where? I saw... Are you watching? Are you pay... Are you snooping on my stream? <laughs> no. Huh? No. Yeah? No. If I go over here, I'm not gonna see the stream over here. <laughs> I wanted to watch the... Okay, you can wash the food. But he can't make better Brussels sprouts than me. Nobody can make better Brussels sprouts than me. Nobody, Nobody can make better. Nobody makes better Brussels sprouts than me. Yeah, but he cooks his Brussels. He cooks his bacon first, so it's cr crispy, and then he puts them in. What does he know? Hmm. What is the Brussels sprouts. Maddie. Yeah. You know the show, The Bear. Yeah. yeah. The red, the carrots are roasting, the stuffing's roasting, the mashed potatoes are about to roast, the sweet potato about to roast. I just gotta make some gravy and some cranberry sauce, and then we just gotta wait, and then we gotta serve this shit. Thanksgiving. I'm thankful for all this. <coughs> you know what I'm thankful for? All the YouTube people out there. I'm thankful today for all of the internet fucking right. trolls and the absorber. 
Now is the best time. So he really just threw all that shit it's in. Resting. It's gravy time. All right, I don't give a fuck about your gravy. I'm not going to lie. Cranberry and your cranberry sauce. I don't care about that either. Some ricotta. So he puts ricotta on the potato, on the, on the carrots. Little pistachio. Holy fuck. Those Brussels sprouts look bomb, Kaylee. Look at the Brussels sprouts. Do what do you mean, ew? No, see, his are going to be crunchy, crunchy bacon. And also the sprouts are going to be not as, as soggy because they're not boiling in the bacon fat as much. Maybe we give it a try next time. Hey, you want me to make Brussels sprouts for you? No, not right now. At some other point, I'll make them for you. I got this idea. All right, cool. <sighs> Perfect. This is a Thanksgiving feast that is beautiful. It's amazing. It's thoughtful. It's it is great. very nice, though. That does look very good. Okay, it do be looking kind of good there, though. That do be looking kind of good there, though. Hey, did you see that DNB NL is going to Fiji? Never mind. I said brownies. Brownies is the island where the Fiji water comes from. Yes, the island where the Fiji water is coming from. That's a fucking weird. Brownies is doing a. Oh, there's t 38 seats left. Wait, is it a boat? No, I don't. I don't know what it is. It's Ben. Bomer, Chumba, oh, Nets guy. It's like, uh, it's like house people. Wait, what the fuck is this? It's Fiji. It's like a, it's like a, it's like a resort vacation. Oh my God, it's Firefest, but they actually put it on. Firefest. Tucker, what are you doing on the 25th? Nothing, brother. Oh, wait, the 25th? That's Thanksgiving. No, the this 25th way. is the day after Thanksgiving, right? That's um, that's the uh, U.S. versus England game. I'm going to try and watch that, that game. This is just for... this. How much you want to bet this is like a $10,000 thing? There ain't no fucking way. Yeah, it looks bad. Oh. Oh. How many days are you there? Round trip flights from Sydney, though. So you have to get to... Wait, where's Fiji? Fiji is... I thought Fiji was down near Hawaii. Technically speaking, you're right. Isn't it near, like... Uh... Here it is. Yeah, see, I know what I'm talking about. Yeah, see, here's Hawaii, though. Okay. So you gotta fly in to Sydney? Yeah. Which in itself is very expensive, and then it's a cheeky. Yeah, Rob, we'll leave the night open for sure. Can you can you remind me to write that on the schedule, or can 25th, you write it on the schedule the twenty fifth? Do don't do anything. Two thousand four hundred dollars. Wait, is it Australian dollars? Uh, uh, <laughs> Minus one X AUD. It's twenty five hundred Australian, dude. That's so cheap. That's like four dollars. Look, Kaylee. I'm I'm watching. <laughs> it's it's huh? it's sixteen hundred dollars. <laughs> Wait. Wait, that is actually that's pretty much one dollar is one fifty there? Yeah. Whoa. Whoa. Wow. Look guys, for a, a fifteen hundred dollars you can go to Fiji for five days. Six oh, days. That's not bad. That's not bad. That's you, better than what do you do on there? What do you mean you fucking part? They got air conditioning. They have a ceiling fan. Whoa, and a safe. Private and a safe. Hell yeah. That's actually really good though. Uh, do they have snacks? Yes, Kaylee, they have snacks. Five night stay. Oh, shared a. Okay, couple. Dreaming of a tropical island getaway. Five night stay, private accommodation, two guests. Mm -hmm. Look at that. Wow. 
You they can enjoy. Like they're having fun. Yeah, they look at these people having fun. Look, there's guys, there's they're girls, there's. Love. It's good for straights and that gays. His beard? Look how long his beard is. Who? No. No, it's... up there in the picture. No, that's her hands, oh. dumbass. <laughs> yeah. So it's like five grand. So I mean, that's you know. But what do you get? See, that's a thing. What if? What I do you would, get? I would take a glass jar and steal sand. What? I would, as a souvenir, I would take sand and put it in my jar and leave. That's what I get. I don't think they're going to let you do that. I think it's illegal to do that, actually. What are the requirements to enter Fiji? Uh, <laughs> can I br- why can't I bring alcohol? You can if you really want to. Yeah, I mean, you can if you really want to. Um, when is this? This is in December. We're not going, by the way. I know, but I was saying, isn't this soon? Yeah. Pretty nifty. I thought that it was going to say what it... Does it not say what... They're just trying to be... There's only ship. 30... Yeah, but they're trying to do holy shit, but it's like... Oh, shit, helicopter. And jump rope in the sand? Holy shit, you can <laughs> jump rope? Uh, we need people to go, and then we'll the, let us let them assess what happened, and then someday... In the Afford... Future. Yeah. The next fact was what it included. Where? Firefest 2. I mean, they've done it a couple times. Up. Oh. Round trip airfare, accommodations, ground and sea transfers, and access to all build artists. So you still have to pay for food and drink. And that's probably where they start getting shit. Like, so, I mean, all things in, all things considered, not awful, especially when you break it. $500 for five days. For five days. And then you, and you get food, the music. And but, you need food and water. Right, but you get to go to, you're basically going on a vacation that has music. Vacation for $1,600 is pretty good, but then you also have to pay for your plane ticket. Yeah, the plane ticket to Australia is the kicker. I'm so, going to say it's about 3000 total for the food and water or... Um, they could just drink Coca-Cola. LAX to Sydney is, uh, <laughs> it's an expensive one. If you went, if you went, um, if you went, it's starting at a thousand nine hundred dollars. What? Why? For, can't for, they just, can't, can't they just fly to somewhere else? Why do they have to leave from Sydney? That's what the travel includes. Well, can't they just leave from Hawaii? No. Okay. If I was in charge of this festival, I would let them leave from Hawaii. No, you don't understand. You can, I mean, I guess technically speaking, you could fly in anywhere, but like, but Fiji's tiny. So the cheapest and most direct flight is from Sydney. So you fly from Hawaii. You can fly from Hawaii. Doesn't you know, matter. You know what somebody needs to do? What? Somebody needs to buy a Fiji water from the airport before they get there and then buy a Fiji water on Fiji Island and see if they're lying and if it's true. See if it's actually from the Fiji Islands, if they're fucking lying. Compare if it tastes the same. I just know that they're fucking lying. I know that Fiji water is coming from rural Pennsylvania. It's not, though. It's not. <laughs> Whatever. It's not coming from rural Pennsylvania. <laughs> That's a really expensive. I flew to Fiji to see if their water tasted better than my bottled Fiji honestly, water, not clickbait. Honestly, that would be a very popular video to do. Be like, I flew the whole way to Fiji. You have Fiji water? Question mark. All right. I'm gonna what the fuck was that? All right, cool. Um. All right, we're going to play Call of Duty now. Uh, it's probably the last day we're playing uh, regular multiplayer. Almost done unlocking the guns, uh, skins that I want, and all the weapon attachments and shit. Warzone is on Wednesday, so we're going to be playing that. I don't know who I'm playing with yet, um, but we are looking for a full squad. It's either going to be the like Diesel and Hutch, or with maybe Eli or something else. But um, I am... Uh, I am going to, no, I'm not, 
I checked it out easy. Probably not. Um, I'm going to play some CS tomorrow, probably along some other stuff. And then you can check out the schedule, but I'm gone Saturday because I am out of town. And Friday, we're going to be playing Pokemon um, because it comes out Friday. And then um, Sunday, we're going to... or Sunday, we're going to be doing Dark Pictures Anthology with Kaylee. So we got a whole bunch of shit that we're going to be doing. All right. Oh, shit. Did I update the drivers? I don't know if I did that yet. Ragnarok? Uh, you guys want the... You guys want the real... The, the, the long and skinny of it? Um, it is such a long game, and so many people are playing it. I don't want to play it right now. I, I've been really enjoying it. I'm just going to play it later. At some other... I'm going to play it at a later date. Um, when there's not everybody and their brother playing it. I know. I just, like, I don't want to, I don't, I don't have, like, 30 hours to play, um, I don't want to play for 30 hours. Will you stream it? Yes. I will. Uh, I'm just gonna just put it on hiatus. The Oregon Trail came out today, like, what, like, today in history? Or what? Literally today. Holy shit, these guys are freaking out. Anything woke is a huge turnoff for me. Rubs me the wrong rubs me wrong. There were black cowboys and black frontiersmen in the wild rest. I'm a big history buff, and someone like Bass Reeves I find interesting. In this version, instead of making your family travel, are you being forced to use a pre-selected diverse cast of four characters? <laughs> Jesus Christ. I don't know. Maybe we'll keep a Maybe we'll keep an eye out on it, yeah? Wokeness. <laughs> That's fucking great, dude. He was fuming. He was like, "I hate this shit. I can't believe it." All right. I have to pee real quick. I'm looking to see who's on. Dude, this is what I'm talking about, dude. Nobody's playing Modern Warfare 2. Nobody be playing this perfect. All right, I guess that means we can grind and I can chat with chat. What do I want to listen to? I don't want to listen to EDM right now. I want to listen to... I want to listen to... Didn't Turnstile just come out with an album? Traditional Christmas music. All right. Let me pee. So if you lonely, you know I'm here waiting for you. I'm just a crosshair. I'm just a shot away from you. And if you leave here, you leave me broken, shattered and light. I'm just a crosshair. I'm just a shot, then we can die. 
Wait. Um, if I plug in a controller, do I get aim assist? Yeah, we should try playing with a controller sometime soon. All right, I need one one shot. Uno! And then after I level that up, it's time to level up this one, which means I actually get to shoot people with fun guns. I know I want to hear you. Um... Are you gonna tell on me, Gamble? Or Gambinium? Travis, thanks for the Prime sub, appreciate it. Hopefully I see you around some more. Love a good Prime. Speaking of Primes, Raider Raid, Captain Palooka, Gilguff, welcome back. Appreciate all your Primes, thank you, thank you. And Raven as well. I've been on the hunt, and by me, I mean Kaylee, has been on the hunt alongside me for the best zero calorie, zero sugar, soda type beverage. Right now, trying aha. It's not bad, but it's not good. Sparkling ice. You try Nate Shot's new energy drink? Nope, I love Monster Energy TM branded beverages. I'm sponsored by Monster. Although, I do think that it's dope that. Topa Chico is the best sparkling water slash tonic water, um, but I don't, uh, I don't, I'm looking for something with flavor. Basically something that like I can drink that will give me, look, I am a, I'm a, I'm a guy who likes silly little uh, beverages, right? Like I basically grow up or grew up in a, in a house where like I would have access to four different juices, you know, a milk a soda, like whatever, you know? And I'm like, oh, hell yeah. Now, as an adult, I don't really have a lot of shit that I keep in my fridge, and I kind of want to get back in. Thank God I've done it. Oh my God, thank you. Oh my God, I'm fucking done. You just have to get used to flavored sparkling water. I mean, we have been trying though. Like LaCroix is a little bit, eh. Waterloo was recent, um, and, um, I can't tell you that Waterloo is very good, outside of, like, the crisp apple whatever flavor. Try the grape Waterloo. I don't like fake grape. Am I the only one that doesn't like fake grape? Sparkling ice I should try. Fake grape flavor is not it. Uh, it just, to me, tastes like um, medicine almost. All right, oh my God, I'm so excited. I get to eight. I get, guys, I haven't gotten to use an AR in like five days of playing Call of Duty. Have you started God of War? I did, I've played about six hours and we're putting it on hiatus. I'm gonna make it a command. Uh, I just want to play other games that are coming out. Like, Warzone comes out in two days. If you would've told me I would've been excited for Warzone last year, I would've spat in your face. I would've been like, no. But I am, I really am enjoying this Call of Duty. Um, and plus, uh, I've played Warzone too. At least for a little bit, I'm gonna play Warzone 2 when it comes out. But, it's not gonna be forever. And so probably sometime around, sometime around January, or even December, I'm gonna wanna play, uh, oh my God. I'm gonna wanna play uh, sometime in January, December, I'm gonna wanna play God of War again. Um, the, other games we got coming out in December, we have, or I'm sorry, in in a week, not even a week, in a couple days we have Pokemon, we have the Dark Pictures Anthology, both of those I'm going to be playing, very excited, so those are going to take quite a bit of streams, 
at least a couple for the dark picture and then probably like several for Pokemon. And then we have Need for Speed on December 2nd. We have Callisto Protocol on December 2nd. So those two games are going to be multi-stream games as well. Like, plus the fact that I play Counter-Strike, I'm probably going to keep, keep playing Warzone during all this stuff. Like, it's just great to me that we have so many opportunities for different uh, games coming out. That's why I'm not, I'm not worried about it. We're actually getting fed, yeah. And I think that I, if you were watching the Drop Frames podcast I was on last night, I said this too. I said the reason, probably the reason things are going so crazy right now is we've had all these AAA games that got delayed during COVID kind of get delayed and delayed wink wink until the holiday season. So Hogwarts Legacy comes out soon, right? When is that one? February? Yeah, I'm not thinking that far out. January, February is cool, but like we're talking, we're talking uh, the next two months towards the end of the year. Because otherwise, oh my god, that's embarrassing. I'm sorry, but the new Pokemon looks so bad. Um, I think that just it doesn't fucking matter. <laughs> you know, like I, I don't think it, I don't think I care. Like I just want to play a new Pokemon game. Uh, that's kind of it. Like even even I don't agree with you by the way. I'm just saying like even if even if like it doesn't matter to me either way. Like I was going to play Pokemon when it comes out. I like Pokemon. It's like saying the new Call of Duty looks bad. I'm like okay. Like I'm a Call of Duty fan. I'm gonna play it though. Pokemon fans will never be satisfied. You can nod at you can if you don't like Pokemon. Because of what I, I don't even know what you could possibly hate it for outside of not looking like you want it to look, you know, because it's not like Pokemon ever was a graphical like Marvel. It was never like Pokemon is like, oh my god, look at this, look at the fidelity of these graphics on my Pokemon game. Like that was never the case. So I don't know what people are so freaked out about. But regardless, um, you should still be able to look at the changes they're making for Ruby or for uh, uh, Scarlet. And whatever the other one are and just be like yeah these are these are changes that look like it's gonna bring Pokemon and the Pokemon world closer towards doing this open world MMORPG type shit a fucking lamp Pokemon I don't care about what the new Pokemon look like I literally don't it's select Pokemon from old from old versions as well like you know like I don't care you don't have to catch those discriminate against them you know the Pokemon in game TM Let's go! I got the zebra! You think AM ARs or SMGs are top tier in this game? Uh, SMGs cannot win on a map like this, but ARs are... Uh, it depends. I think the STB is really, really good. I know MP7 has solid white. That's the next one. But look at this. I don't think the solid white is as cool as this. Streets is coming out before the end of the year. Christmas wipe. I will play the shit out of that if that happens. I've only gotten to play Tarkov on my 30 on my on my new computer for like like once. Literally, I've never played I've really not played on a 3080 at all. I've only played on my only air quotes on my 2080 TI. What the fuck? That guy ran past me? Okay, I can get off of there. Shit. End of year, knowing Nikita could delay it to January too. 
Uh, do we know if there's going to be any other major updates or overhauls to the way the game functions? Or is it just going to be streets and streets and streets and that's that? The reason I'm saying that is because... Uh, is because I just still hate the fact that you're all going to have people rush the same five objectives for the first week of, of wipe. And it's like the worst part of trying to do any of these things that you need to do. Like, I don't have the patience of running the same five wipes over and over and over again trying to, like, lay some shit down. Skill changes, bug fixes, and streets so far. Skill changes, interesting. I know that he just made a video with Nikita, so... Arena's still coming out? Yeah, right. No, I'm serious. Yeah, right. As in, like, it, it will come out, but definitely not by the end of the year, I doubt. And if that's the case, then cool. That's why I said, like, wait, like, two weeks? Yeah. And don't do quests off rip. I don't, but then I'm literally in inability. Like, I have an inability to even fund the weapons. Like, how am I supposed to do it with the trading changes? So now you need, you need like, level 5 traders or level 4 traders to even get, you know, 2.0. Or, like, you know, level 2 or level 3 armor from traders. You think Warzone will flop? What the hell? Yeah, dude, I think Warzone, the biggest Call of Duty's ever been, is going to flop. Especially since they made... Pretty big changes that have made the game overall better. Like, no! What? No, I don't. I cannot take this anymore. Seen everything I said before. This is because my skill based matchmaking got fucking cooked because I was playing um, with like the. Uh, I was playing with, um, whatchamacallit, chat, the. Uh, like Yeehaw gun, and I was playing against absolute idiots, so. <laughs> now I'm getting like. Can I get a look at that build? It's This is unleveled. This is like a level 6. STB, the STB is the gun. This thing melts. Especially with the long barrel. Wow, they took it down already? That was inefficient. Yeah, it is pork. God, I got so many spam calls nowadays. Hello? You know what I like about this map? You can kind of walk on places where I feel like they're like, yeah, we didn't mean for you to go out there, but like... Uh, I can't turn on Silence Unknown Callers, because... I, like, we order deliveries and shit like that, and then that just means we never hear they're here. Africa, think of the 40 months. Oh, oh, that led sure. This large floor, though, no, you're right, actually. There's so many places where it's like, whoa, 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 why are you trying to get up on that ledge? I mean, on that floor, no. But like this ledge over here, on the other side of the building, don't fucking worry about it. A lot of rat places in here, which is great. Objective alpha secure. I know, the robot spam cause, I'm like, hi, can I count on you? This election cycle? Like, no, you can't. Shut up. That's so awful.
Was not expecting to hear paper thin him and Berlin, yeah. You get so many warranty calls? I never do. Warranties are one of the few that I don't get. It makes it easy for me to see who's calling and is a spam number though, because I can just see the area code is fucked up. You know what I mean? Like as in, like, it's not the area code or anywhere near where I'm li where I live. Because they're always spoofing the area code based off of other stuff. I don't think there's Hawthorne- I don't think there's Hawthorne Heights on here, honestly. I never listened to Hawthorne- uh, Hawthorne Heights at all. I'm tired of getting recruiters even though I got a job two years ago. Dude, it's insane. Like, recruiters gotta be some of the most... It's insane how it's just like, what's your job? Oh, I just fucking spam call people. Like, hey, you looking for a new job? I know you just got one two years ago, but like, nah, this time for sure. Like, you should probably work with us. We're even better. Like, dude, chill out. I signed up for one of those sites that lets you consult for like an hourly fee or whatever, GLG. And I did like three consultations for them and it was like pretty decent pay it was like 150 bucks an hour or whatever but they you know they only do an hour at a time and it's sporadic what the fuck was that and then they never stopped emailing me about random shit that I, they're like hey this client like it's just like like like, it, like it's non-stop shit that you can't even talk like talk to anybody about it's like hey do you know anything about sewing like no no i don't It's crazy how e how much like spam calls make your shit unusable. My wife was a branch manager of a temp agency. She's leaving and moving out shit into a better and less stressful career. Yeah. You know, I think if I ever worked in a job that had to give my actual contact info over for my employer or like to my employers or whatever I'd change my cell phone every time I left the company like yo I don't want any of you fuckers talking to me please do not talk to me don't talking The fuck is this? Um What's the best? Like I don't even think I need a grip. You know what I mean? Pen? A pineapple pen? Oh no. Oh, this song. Don't judge me. Many point blank kills. Most recoil control is the best, but the ADS speed is so fucking awful. Like, am I- I'm literally playing against- Like, maybe I should try and level up, like, snipers or something, because I'm never gonna get lobbies this easy ever again. Covering. 
Why guy, thank you for 28 months. Appreciate it. Welcome back. It's because your first two games of the day. Is that how it works? First two games of the day, you fry, and then it literally gets awful from here on out. I think if I ever get, I think that if I get frustrated in any of the games today, I'm just going to, oh fuck. I'm just going to use my knife. We're going to just knife and then that could be a lot of fun. You know what I mean? Okay. No! AK is my de-stress gun, it actually shreds. Everybody needs to have a de-stress class where it's just them be playing with like either their best weapon or the one that is the most obnoxious to play against. The Javelin LMG. If you play like a bot for the first two, I don't know. I don't think, I still think you play CDL lobbies, unfortunately. Are you fucking kidding me? You stole that? The SPR is a great de-stress gun, yeah, because you just run around and you quick scope and it's fun. Uh Ooh. Blank blank kills are so annoying to like force. Yeah, I was gonna say that this poor guy is doing point blank kill challenge. Which is super awful. Fuck. I was told there's gonna be some Slam, there's no, wait, there's some snow and there's no snow, it's 50 degrees. Nothing worse than getting uh, your hopes up for like a snow day or like a, oh no, I can't come in and then it just doesn't snow at all. You should always assume that you are literally going to have no precipitation, all right? Just always pretend like you're going to have no precipitation. That way you can never be hurt. Damn. Imagine still getting snow days. I, it's crazy how much I fucking hate snow now. Like, I would get so excited for snow because at the, because like, it meant, whoops. I didn't mean to kill a guy. Like, I would get so tired, so excited for snow because I'm like, wow, no school. Or it'd be like, wow, I get to stay inside and play video games all day. Or whatever. Now I'm like, I fucking hate snow. It's gonna cancel my flight. I don't like how cold it is. I can't go anywhere comfortably. It's like, I don't know. I need to, dr yeah, I need to brush in, uh, brush up on my uh, snow driving as well. Kelly wants to go to Big Bear this winter. And I've never been. And skiing and snowboarding, yeah, and I don't really, I can't really, my knee, my fucking legs, knit ligaments, I do just so bad. So I'm just like, I don't ski or snowboard. So. Okay. Rain, on the other hand, big fan. No. Dude, I mean, but I live in LA. We got we got dumped on for a day and a half and like any excuse to walk out in the rain, we took it. I just like, there's, I just can't get over the fact that, you know, a good thunderstorm is so hard to come by in Southern California. Where are they? Securing 
What the fuck is going on? Oh, Moist, thanks for gifting the sub to Penguin. Toaster, I love having you <laughs> stop by and hang out. Oh my god. Appreciate it. Thanks for the 19 months. Welcome back. MPX tomorrow? Yeah. Very Wait, is it tomorrow? I thought it was for season one, which is going to be on Wednesday, right? Oh, the 15th for sure? Oh no, I thought that was my... Okay. Alright. Okay. What do you think of these maps? Uh... Hmm. This one... I go back and forth between hating... I, it depends on like you gotta ask what on on what like is it respawn or search and destroy? On respawn, this map sucks. On search, I like it a lot. All the, like, the fact that people are using this and having success with it is insane. Every time we lie awake. Balufa, thanks for the 21. All right, well, let's see what we got here. Let me escape quick play and filter for domination. Kill confirmed hard point. Forty two round damage range. Uh, probably ADS speed. Yeah, that ain't it. That ain't it, Chief. You're gonna need some sort of red dot here. I don't know. I don't know. If, oh, what did I just change? Oh, God. I don't know if, uh,. I don't know if that's it or not. There is a loadout for this gun that will shred, though. Will you be willing to do Tarkov viewer kits for the under the wipe? Not really right now. I don't really want I don't even have it installed.
Gun attachments aren't confusing, no. I just think that the I think that the confusing part is yo usual. Thank you for the 62 months. I think the confusing part is not understanding is not understanding why there's so many muzzle breaks. Like, what the fuck is the point of grinding for any of them? We don't really know. A lot of them do the same thing, yeah. Sometimes less is better. Yeah, sometimes. But I'm trying to maximize my damage range. Demo, Imp, Underbarrel, Echolus, 80 Muzzle, 18 Bren, Gorilla Barrel, VOK, Iron, Cronin Sight. That's why I use that. All right, well, I'll check that out and see if I can remember it. Honest to God. Thank you for telling me, though. The gun tree UI is awful and actually doesn't even make sense. Like, it literally is not the way they need to display any of this to you anyways. That's why you have 45 rounds on that bad boy. <laughs> Come with it now. Come with it now. Get with it now. With it now. Solid it now. Huge. Does I, do I sound weird? I don't know. I'm not. I'm not like yelling or projecting. The good thing with Call of Duty, and specifically with this one, I think I'm a little sitting too high up. Is that uh, there's not. <laughs> Fucking Christ. There's not a lot of need for uh, the game audio. We could listen to music and respawn stuff, but search and destroy it's awful. There's so many people over here. What the fuck? Okay, we're lagging, we're lagging. Our latency is packed. Oh, fuck. The UI will get remade. I'm just wondering how we let even, like, how did we even let it go so far away from just like a standard attachment screen? Like, I literally don't get how, I don't get how there was such a disconnect. How it even made it to product. Oh my God. The first of the year. I mean, the first of the day. All my friends have been begging me to get this game. Do you think it's $70 right now? Should I wait for some updates? Well, that's a good question. I think in general, it's pretty much flawless. There's not a lot going on that's wrong with it. So it's up to you. You don't need to send it again. I got you.
You only need to send one dev report, Mitchell. If you get the same dev error, and you, what's the point of sending it? A, you know, a million times. All right, imp under barrel. I don't think I have the imp. Echolus 80, 18. And then you just use the the laser no mag. This is a very SMG esque gun. Holy fuck! I can't see anything. I know this is also not the underbarrel you said. I like don't understand why there's no actual difference between these two. They're just ain't. All right. Well, it's fine. We'll give it a shot. I don't know how I'm supposed to level this gun or what I'm supposed to do with this. I wish I had any. I don't have the X2 whatever for hip fire. I could do the P8 whatever to level five. You can tune those attachments for better accuracy. You talking about the Deagle or this? Because I'm not max level, but the Deagle, yeah. Give me my... And you got this kid just... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. You never yeah, want to hear that. I my battle rifles auto at the moment because singles just like... Yeah. You never want to hear people complaining as you get into the game. Where's the CUAV? I don't even see it. A Kemboing is really fun in this game. Well, there's such a fun. Oh my god, what a pussy. Whoa! I don't understand why he keeps calling people a bag, of, a bundle of sticks, or a cigarette. It don't make sense to me. Watch this nade. Incredible. Oh, just kidding, I'm dead. 
I, it's so funny too because he's like not saying it at anyone or to anyone. It's just like open mic comms. Like, like what? It's not funny that he's saying it. It's just like, dude, like what in the what possesses you? Now here's somebody who doesn't experience ramifications for their actions. Hey, it's me. I'm a friend. Okay. We're about to get run up on. I can feel it. The patch the AMD fidelity issues. You can increase that for crispier gameplay. I don't use AMD stuff. Ooh. Time for me to get out of there, you know what I mean? I only have 17 rounds, uh oh. Uh oh. Oh no. The man, this man doesn't know the dildo of consequences seldom comes for the unlubed code of conduct. <laughs> that was quite a mental image. Thank you, Tracker. What up, Ignite? Dude, I love, I for one love dolphin diving. I don't know. Oh. Okay. 240 hertz monitor? Jesus Christ, you're gonna be feeling it. Your only PlayStation controller started drifting today? Is there, there really is no easy way to fix that, huh? You just gotta get a new controller, if you can. Fucking blows, I am sorry to hear that. No, definitely not bad attachments. This thing is, is, uh, is frying. I think that I would appreciate having, ow. I think I'd probably appreciate having, like, the 42-round mag that's an extra kill, but, you know. You know. What the hell? You do get a year warranty. You're not going to get controller drift from a year. And if you do, that's unlucky. Two plus years. God damn it. I can't get anybody. Mr. Beast overtook Pewds for most sub to YouTuber. Now that is crazy, actually. But not entirely un unseen. Alpha. 
Jesus. Should have been should be you. Fuck no, man. No, thank you. I can assure you that uh, I am very thankful. Kind of like when you know how I'm. I kind of look like uh, look at um, Twitch and YouTube, and um, I kind of look at Twitch and YouTube right now as a um, as somebody who looks at uh, high school or something. And I'm like, man, I'm really glad I got to do Twitch and YouTube when it was like this like very niche, tiny thing because like we like the biggest drama was like somebody jerking off on webcam by accident or like somebody live streaming um uh, and getting stream sniped and so i look at like i would not be able to handle being the largest creator on the platform ever um at any point but certainly not now it's just too many eyeballs too much shit going on too much micro micro like um uh kind of looking at like this uh i feel like i feel like you probably overlook a lot of the negatives. <laughs> I would be like, ugh, can you stop? I would, I would have trouble having that much attention. It is the new TV. What up, Killer Monkey? Ignite, thank you, Donkey. Donkey. All right, we're almost done this, actually. Holy shit. God, there was like a quad there. I didn't even mean to use the Fennec, but yeah, that thing, it literally is just, it's just like a bullet hose. It's nuts. Phase talk. This is probably not the, this is probably not the map. I'm definitely in, oh my God, that guy has the Deagle camo. I'm definitely in a grinder's lobby here. You know? What the fuck just happened? You see what I'm saying? Really? Paznet can use the drop shot glitch, loser. Yes, yeah, so that's the tax split, tax sprint drop shot thing, right? Where you don't do the drop shot animation, correct? No way. Why strong arm? Uh, I'm going to be honest. I literally have not made a custom um, perk loadout yet. I forget to do it, and I should probably do that next game. That's why. Huh.
Yeah, I gotta check it out. No, I, I, uh, I, I know, I keep forgetting that you should probably just do that, and that's why I'm here now without a custom one. All right. I hate that. What the fuck? I hate how buggy the, uh, red dot is, because, like, I shouldn't have seen that guy. That's not a teammate? Okay. 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 Oh, Jesus Christ, man. I hate... Are you kidding? Why? Like, what is the problem? Is everybody else... Ca I crashed... 15 minutes ago. I'm updated. My graphics drivers are updated. crash every six mash it matches it used to be like once every like hour or so I held off on the new drivers and it was crashing more frequently Ugh. annoying um, what more do we have for this? Just the weapon tuning. So we're kind of done with this. I don't want any of the camos. Ew. All right. So now it's the Fennec, the knife, and the MP7. Oh, shit. Let me do this. I don't know which one of these I want. Fast hands a sleight of hand? Oh. How do you change the name of it? Cause the music do. Coolest car I've driven? I haven't driven any cool cars, man. I'm sorry to say. Hey, isn't the MPX going to be on the Bruin platform? Domination. Not much to gamble on, unfortunately. Okay. Guy Moan. MPX is the, it's gonna be, it's a new gun that's gonna be in the, uh, okay. It's the new gun in the, um, uh, season pass. The Bruin platform. Literally, it said, Something like that. It's a pea shooter. No, I'm I'm saying the in. It uh, doesn't matter. Fuck it. Nigga. Okay. <laughs> All right. Is 
It's just COD things, you know? Although that one, I'm gonna be honest, that one felt a little bit more like a frustration one and not like a guy calling somebody that. You know what I mean? But what do I know? Not for me to decide. I am getting fucking sprinted around and murdered. There's a guy who just spawned and killed me. Okay. Okay. Dude, you can't even get in there. These guys are just locking it down. Not the map for the signal unless you're gonna head to the tower. Yeah, you're right. You're you're correct. I'm actually surprised at how fast it rechambers. You know? I have a turbo hatch Mazda 3. It's fun. Definitely, that thing definitely schmooze once you get it up to like 4K. Like the power, the, the, the turbo lag starts to not feel as bad, but it's fun. You depend on our protection, can you? Bruh. What the fuck? Ugh. Dancing in the desert road. That man should be paced. That was my first video I ever made in Call of Duty. I'm sorry, my first video I ever made on YouTube. It's called Thoughts of the Week, Week One. And it was specifically dealing with the, I collateral, Specifically de dealing with the uh, PTRS in World at War and how I thought it was insane that I was using an anti-tank weapon and basically getting hit markers. Second clat, let's go. Like, how are you going to get a hit marker when it's something you use to shoot at tanks? These people are in tanks. You're right. Anti-tank rifle, not anti-personnel rifle. Love that logic. Hey, I can't argue with it. It's too good. How did that not hit him? Where'd my bullet go? I hate spawning in this house. What the fuck? Hey, Call of Duty, when can we just... What? Hey, Call of Duty, when can we actually just um, get an RGB slider and we can just make any color we want? 
because I want a pastel. I want a nice seafoam green, you know? Thanks for the 19 months. Tell us about, tell her about us. Oh no. My free piece. Thanks for the 19 months. Appreciate it. Welcome back. Infrared, infrared. Thank you as well. Hold on, sorry. I'm having trouble reading. How will they force you to grind to unlock? Dude, I don't even care about that. Like, if if I get all the colored ones, I should get a camo that lets me change the color. What the? Insane that like anybody like it's so crazy to me that people are just like it's it's uh it's fun oh my let me out of my spawn like what the fuck is happening? Oh no dude they're all right out here oh that's my team Like look at this guy Dude do not spawn me there. Thank you. Listen, sometimes you just gotta go for it, alright? How long is premium internet on hold? Depends on what you're asking for. We do content every Friday, although this Friday is different because Pokemon comes out. But we definitely will be doing uh, some stuff on Reddit in the new year on Fridays. Clockwork, thank, clockwork, thank you for the 39 months as well. Scuzz, thank you for the 93. Pretty old. I'm going to need a walker soon. I'm pretty sure you do need a walker by the time you're 93. Like, that's just a given. Holy shit. It's a hater. I think Evanescence is coming to. I think Evanescence is coming to LA soon. This guy's now this is Call of Duty right here. New festival in May in Vegas? What is it? I'm kind of uh 
worried about all the new festivals popping up. Bro, what? Like new metal, like when we were young. Yeah, I'm good. Like, dude, I don't know anybody who even really talked about when we when you when we were young. So I'm not sure if it was actually that good or not. But It was a lot of acts back to back to back rotating stages. Yeah, I know. Poster. System of a down corn, Deftones, Incubus, Turnstile, Death Grips, Flyleaf. Wow. Uh, Papa Roach, Placebo, 100 Gex, POD, Spirit Box, Seven Dust. Oh my god. Booba stank. And then a whole bunch of people I have no fucking clue who they are. I mean, yeah, it's Death Grips doesn't go to anything though. I mean, yeah, I was gonna say I would have to see Death Grips. It is It is definitely interesting, but I'm I'm just again a little bit tired of the vast amounts of festivals that uh, I am being forced to go to when in reality they're all very mid and they're all the same. With you till the end. No, I don't just want to go to warehouse bangers. I'm saying like literally I don't I don't uh it's it's like festivals are big expensive things and that sucks because you know sometimes I don't want to spend a thousand dollars. I've already seen Spirit Box recently, though. Death Grips I'd go for. Flyleaf I'd go for. Fucking, like, pretty much the entire top build artist. But the problem is that that, that means that they're going to be conflicting with each other, probably. Or at least in some form. I just, like, I don't have I don't have it in me. I don't need to. But I know that if Kaylee sees that, she's going to be like, she's going to be like, we have to go. She's a huge Flyleaf and Evanescence fan. I think Evanescence is playing in L.A., Soon though, which is why I'm not as worried. I'll be like, no, 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 it's fine. We can go to the Evanescence show. Don't worry. April 6th with Muse. That's right. That's that's who it is. It's gonna be nuts. Alien Amp Farm, yeah. Look, we have Evanescence at home, except the difference is that we actually do have Evanescence at home. But yeah. And Muse would be... I mean, I'm not even a huge Muse fan, but Muse would be great. I don't even know any of Muse's songs besides, like, truthfully. I was never a huge fan, but I, I, res I know they're... I know they're great. I know they're fantastic.
Saw him use 10 years ago. Still one of your all-time favorite... All-time favorite shows. That's uh, high praise. Love that. Fuck, man. I want you to be God damn it. I am so mad. Did I put something else on this thing yet? Level f uh optic? Yeah, we can do the regular 4x. Now we got the ACOG Baird 50 cal. That's what I'm talking about right here, baby. Ew, what the fuck is that? I just spawned! Like, what the fuck just happened? How are we getting fucking crushed, dude? We haven't gotten a kill in like six years. Jesus Christ. What the fuck, dude? They're trying so hard now. That's it. Fuck y'all. I don't want to lose. Oh, we're not going to lose. That was like, I don't know what happened, but they just all turned it on at the end there. Springste Springsteen's on your bucket list? Better, uh... Better hurry up. I haven't seen any of the... <laughs> I haven't seen any of the Assassin's Creed stuff, no. All right, ADS, 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 VLK. Dual sight with 4X and Red Dot is a good one to run on the sniper. Ah, oh, interesting. Thanks, Van East. Why that one?
啊Um, um, all right, Tuck. Let's just go ahead and fucking miss two shots. No problem. Thanks for the 13 months, Eternal. Why do I feel like... Why do I feel like this is so... Dude, this is so much... I feel like... I can't do it. Should I do the red dot? I feel like everybody who runs red dots with snipers is so much better than me. What do you say? Hopefully he didn't say anything bad. I just couldn't understand him. So thank God for bad mics. Iron sight it? Yeah, I should. Motherfucker speaking enchantment table. <laughs> Literally. Oh shit. Oh shit. He said he loves you? Oh, I didn't hear that. What the fuck? Wait. <laughs> I had no idea! What is that spot? I had no idea! What the hell? That's a spot for search. Just lay in there. Now you're a real prisoner of war. Oh god. Oh god. You can tell I got in that lobby because... Look at everyone. Look at everybody. I love how there's no recoil from a 50 cal round. I'm just like, yeah, I'm just shooting. You go, oh, I'm a woman and suffering. Ah! My, my hero! Dude, I love it. What a king, literally. No! Okay. Why is the neuro Kimbo 1887? Stop. Why do you why do you guys wish for the worst things in the world? Like it was nostalgia how much I hated those. Like, yeah, why is there no one-man army noob tube? Like, bruh. Bruh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. 
Where's my Akimbo 50 cows? There are Akimbo Desert Eagles. Call of Duty, a ha a high-paced, fast action game. That's tough. That's really tough. That's tough. Brother. Minty bro, have you ever broke have you broke even with night mode yet? When do you sing in a month the music scene in two years? Uh yeah, we broke even. We broke we are officially debt free. Well, like we recouped all the stuff for like, you know, like launching the, the label and fucking paying everything, designers and stuff. We did that. That was as a that was when the first, that was when the payment came in for the Smite and Paladin stuff. Um, and uh, as for where I see it in two years, uh, it's a good, good question. Because I don't really know. Um, hopefully in a lot more games. I'd like, Hospital Records got their own radio station in Forza. I want our own radio station in an equally as large game, or at least to be uh, on, you know, representing, having the label be represented somewhere in games more. Uh, another music kit. I want a night mode only music kit in Counter Strike. I don't even know if that's. I don't even know if that's. <laughs> just be like, listen, I don't care. I want all of. I want all six songs. Um, and then. Uh, I'd want to do a stage takeover at like a major music festival. Hopefully in two years we can... In two years it'd be cool to have a stage at Tomorrowland for a day. Those, those are pretty much... Pretty much the only things that I could want. And it would be, it would be really dope if we had like more, you know, esports tournaments using our music. We regret to inform you're still in debt to the Pumpkin Carvers Association. <laughs> Actually, not even, not even true. Hold on, or not even false. Hold on. Actually, a true statement. League finals opening when? Dude, league final stuff is nuts, but they're they're much more in the business of like. Uh, by the way, the music selection for uh, for um, Need for Speed is good, like really good, really good. Bunch of friends on there, which is even better than I could have hoped. Like really good. I'm stoked. Shit. I talked to the people who my, my friend uh, works over at Criteria, or I guess works with EA over on Need for Speed. So I mean, I hit him up and I was like, "My guy, please, like I will do anything." And he was like, "Look, I mean, we can't guarantee. Obviously, I can't guarantee anything. However, like you know, if if it makes sense after launch." I know you guys are like all in it for the culture and stuff like we'll make it work and I'm like dude We would literally like if ne if need for speed was like hey, we need music 
I would literally, if I was like, how, how many songs do you need? 10? We'll go out and fucking source 10 songs right now. We'll, we'll do it. We'll make it a, uh, the, the night mode turbo station. GG, man. Hey, 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 GG. That's my favorite streamer. That's my favorite streamer. Hey, hey, that's my guy. That's my guy. Hey, 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 GG's, hey, GG's. 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 Hey, I unlocked. Oh, flinch resistance. All right, <clears throat> what else? Um, I need another one. Can you not rename these? You in a hundred you in a hundred thieves merch? I am. I do in fact enjoy the hundred thieves merchandise. Hey, 
Right click rename? That's what I was thinking. You can't right click these. Is it good quality? Aside from the crinkles? Yeah. Um, I mean, yeah. I mean, I like it. This is their just basic stuff. I think they have the best merch. I mean, sorry, apparel. As far as esports. The, the game awards. No, I didn't see that. All right, well, let's see here. The Game Awards, bomb. What do we got? Game of the year. Recognizing a game that de delivers the absolute best experience across all creative and technical fields. This one is gonna be hard because three of these games are incredible and the other three have no business being in here. And even in that, even in that take, I disagree with myself. Elden Ring and God of War Ragnarok stand head and shoulders above any of the other games in here. I played a Plague Tale Requiem and I didn't really enjoy it that much. It was fine. Uh, maybe I didn't play enough of it, but I actually enjoyed the first one. Um, so that one's not game of the year. Not even close. Um, Stray was great. Too short and too limited of a scope and scale to be game of the year. It just, you, you can't, it's not even close. And don't, I don't know shit about Xenoblade, but Elden Ring and God of War, you have to adjust for recency bias. God of War just came out. We're still playing through it. It's hard to say that it is a um, game better than Elden Ring, and it's hard to say that Elden Ring's a game better than it because it's been a while, and Elden Ring's going to have D D uh, DLC later. In my opinion, God of War has the best combat, most fluid combat, and the most enjoyable chain combat crafting available. It feels great. It is so good, along with the haptics and the console. Um, I have a hard time explaining to people how impressive it is that it's like it is a good PC quality game on PlayStation 5 with little to no drawbacks outside of, in my opinion, these two things. One. The world is more linear than Elden Ring. And two, I believe that because of that, the, um, not because of that, I believe that the combat is more limited in variety. Uh, you can play more unique ways in Elden Ring. It is, it is like the borderlands of the game, of the, like, um, of the difficult roguelike uh, roguelite, you know, games, and it feels way more vast, way more explorative, and way less confining. Because of that, the fights feel more authentic. Like the world encounters feel good. Um, I think that it's going to come down to whether or not you think Elden Ring has a better world building area and better and better overall. Like com like uh, combat options as well as lore or whatever than God of War. Like that is the only difference. God of War has better feeling combat, but Elden Ring to me is a cooler world and a more expansive, exploratory, vast experience. I don't know which one of those wins because God of War has better dialogue for most of the stuff, but way way more annoying dialogue. Elden Ring is like we have a fuck ton of dialogue and most of it's pretty good. It's hard. What about NPCs, though? Um, I love every character in God of War, and I love a lot of the characters in Elden Ring. And I think the characters in Elden Ring have a lot more personality from one way to the or from one side to the other. And what I'm gonna say is this, okay? I bet more people will finish Gears of War, yes, or God of War, yes, they will. Okay, it's it's an easier game to finish because there are difficulty settings. Elden Ring is not a difficulty setting game. It is so many of my friends were like, I want to play it, but, like, I can't because it's too hard. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, like, that, that is a thing, you know? Chaney and Hayden can play God of War and sit on the couch and be high as shit and play it on easy and, and enjoy it a lot. You can't do that with Elden Ring. You just can't. So it's, uh, I don't know. For me, I'm voting for Elden Ring. Chat, what do you agree?
I'm going with Elden Ring, and the reason is Elden Ring and God of War. This is great. Ready? God of War and Elden Ring were my first type, the first forays into a game like these. Okay. I played I played Elden Ring first, and then I played God of War, and I played them back to back. Not God of War Ragnar Ragnarok, but God of War Three or whatever, and I really enjoyed it. And I sat here and was like, dude, I just think that Elden Ring really had something special for me that I just did not get with God of War. I appreciated it, but it was kind of like, um, to me, it kind of feels like CS and Valorant almost, like the raw, like raw, unfiltered, you know, Elden Ring with performance issues, by the way, versus like the polished, um, more put together, but a little bit rounded uh, God of War experience. So, uh, Stray was, but like, yeah, I mean, these are, Plague Tale does not belong here. I don't even know what you'd be able to do. But like, I can't help but feel like God of War, we were talking about it with everybody who's playing on hard difficulty at, on, um, hold on, let me move to, let me move to this real quick. We were talking about it every time we were, um, we were talking about it when we were uh, on drop frames where we were, they're all playing on the hardest difficulty and they say that it doesn't really matter what gear you have because at that point you're just hoping that you get something that stuns them more likely than, than not or something that puts them on fire. Dude, Elden Ring, if you're not paying deep attention to the stats that you're using, then you're not going to have a fun time. And that in itself is probably why a lot of people won't vote for it. But, like, if I want to do a strength build that is wielding a giant pizza cutter and a giant sword, which I did, I can fucking do it. But it's kind of hard for a lot of circumstances. If you want a mage build, I didn't even touch that. I didn't even touch bleed or tank or stagger builds or, any, or range. It's just like, oh, and each one of these is viable in their own way. There's so much more depth to how you're going to decide to play in an Elden Ring than there is with God of War, and then linear, the more linear nature of the air arenas that you're fighting in, and the, like, dude, just think about when you're playing Elden Ring and you're, like, standing out on the cliff to, like, one of those areas, and you're like, yeah, I can go everywhere. <laughs> like, like, there's not many options for you to do that, or times that you do that in God of War. Anyways, next category. Best Game Direction. Best... Out, outstanding creative vision and innovation in game direction and design. So I did not play Immortality, and I have not played for Horizon Forbidden West, um, but I have watched plenty of gameplay. And so this one's hard, but I like to be uh, a conscious voter. I think that there are games that are generational that deserve to win, um, and I think that there are games that are as good and maybe deserve a little bit of love. And so because of the uniqueness of the game in itself, even though it was short, I want to go Stray, just because Elden Ring and God of War are going to get enough love, and I think that Stray does deserve some attention, and this is a non-offensive category to give Stray some love in. If Stray won this, people would be like, yeah, I could see that, right? But if Stray wins Game of the Year, people would be like, what the, f what the fuck? I don't agree. I just think that, that sometimes you got to be like, Best narrative. Now, here's the next five games we're going to get for the whole year. Stop including this in the conversation for a lot of these. I'm going to go with God of War simply because this does have the best dialogue I think I've ever had in any game almost entirely through and through. The narrative and the ability to keep me flowing from storyline to gameplay and back, that one is pretty much the reason why I would vote for God of War over Elden Ring is the story time or like any of the dialogue is pretty much just fucking mm. so Elden Ring story needs a YouTube video to understand it. It kind of, to me, reminds me of, like, people saying Destiny 2 or Destiny has good lore, and I'm like, in my head as a casual gamer, there is no such thing as good lore if I have to go research it myself. I'm not doing that. Um, I need it to be told to me or I need to discover it through gameplay, and I don't want to do additional digging to understand, especially if understanding lore is, is like, a very prime component of enjoying the game if you're like well no no you can you can complete the game but like the impact moment at the end it doesn't matter unless you read the notepads from the first four levels and put them together and you're like uh so best art direction now here is a good one i think 
I played Scorn, and Scorn might get the 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 pity vote, but Scorn was not a fun gameplay experience, and so I'm gonna try and separate that. Scorn had a bunch of really cool, wow, that's gross and interesting, and um and very like uh kind of like when I look at Dead Space monsters, you're like, I want to know how you thought of this character, um, but it is hard because I think about how pretty God of War looks right now. Don't think it's great or better than, Hori I'm sorry, don't think it's better than Horizon because I've think, I'm thinking about Horizon. Both of them look really good. And then I think about Elden Ring and how many times I thought to myself, now this is a really ethereal and cool place. And so I'm going to go with Elden Ring because I don't think that God of War or Horizon did anything unexpectedly insane. Stray definitely didn't. Scorn was really cool, and I'm fine if you vote for that, but I just didn't enjoy it that much. And I'm going with Elden Ring because of a couple uh, places. The fight with the world um, worm thing. Any Pretty much any time that they took you into another dimension in that game and then put you back out, um, or any situation with, like, uh, like the the sheer scale of enemies, I think, really got to me. So fighting any of the giants or fighting any of the yeah any of the giants for that matter were just like, all right. No, I haven't finished God of War. Uh, best score and music. Well, this one's an easy one for me. It's gonna be Metal Hellsinger. <laughs> it's just not like there's just no other game like it. And I need to encourage them to continue to make more of it. Um, I'm such a big simp for everybody on that project. And if you haven't played, you totally should. Especially with the modding. It's something that I might re-check out when we're in a game drought. Because just like Trombone Champ, but to a more serious state, it's a, it's a really fun one. What kind of game is it? A BPM Doom type game. You go into hell and you basically shoot slash kill demons to the beat of metal music. Not just any metal music, metal music made by authentically great musicians from the best old and new metal groups. It's it's really good. Best audio design. Now, I cannot talk about Gran Turismo. Um, there's nothing super impressive about Elden Ring and God of War. And I will be the first to tell you that Call of Duty actually does have the best in-game audio and sound design. It does. You're going to complain. Before you sit here and go, oh, 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 dude, you can hear footsteps from a, a mile away. Have you actually, like, have if you if you haven't sat, sat and actually just played the single player and just sat down and, like, had some good headphones or a good stereo system, it's pretty much the best you're going to get. It is... It is studio, I mean, it is, obviously it's studio level. I don't know what I'm saying. It's the clearest, crispiest, crispiest, crunchiest, like, it's good. It's good, man. I don't know. Like, I don't know. It's, there's your problem, I don't have those. Well, like, this is like saying, dude, uh, this song sounds so good because I have Apple AirPods, and you're, like, talking to people who are trying to judge off of like what is objectively better than something else. Like, I'm sure Gran Turismo sounds good. I, I just don't see it sounds better than like how impressive it is for me that they layer so many different um, sounds in Call of Duty without um, having it all sound like a muddy SoundCloud track, right? But I don't know. Best performance. Ever, uh, okay. Um, uh, mm, well, mm, mm, well, all right, I guess we go with boy. Games for impact for a thought-provoking game with pro-social meaning or message. Well, this is tough. Citizen Sleeper, I have not played any of these. Dust Falls was like a interesting one. Uh, I think, so I'm gonna, just gonna, oh, yeah, okay. Best ongoing, 
Where's Counter-Strike? Where is League of Legends? Why is Final Fantasy 14? I'm sorry, why is, Ga why is Genshin in here over? Okay, it's fine. All right, none of these. I don't want to vote in this. None of these are the best one. Not a single one of these is the best one. Final four, four, five. I haven't played it. I can't vote for this shit. They're, but they're certainly not the best ongoing one. Like League has to win. Oh, like somebody see somebody says Overwatch. You're just like okay, best indie for outstanding creative. Cult of Lamb, Sifu. Wow. Now here's a, now here's a good category. Oh man. All right. Okay. All right. This one's a tough one. Outstanding creative and technical achievement in a game made outside the traditional publishing system. Tunic, I've heard, is good. It's like cute Legend of Zelda, Breath of the Wild kind of thing. I didn't play it. Neon White, I said, was cool looking. Ultimately, it was too weeb mode, but I've heard good things about it. Cult of the Lamb, I didn't beat, but I did enjoy a lot because it was kind of like Hades meets um, resource management. And I, I thought that that was, you know, thought that one kind of was slept on. But Sifu and Stray were a cut above. I really enjoyed Stray. And Sifu, I think, had some of the most fun mechanics to make you really feel like you were Super Saiyan. I made a video on Sifu. Um, I think this one deserves the dub. If you haven't played it, I recommend it. But, um, yeah, Stray might win this one. Cult of the Lamb might win this one. Sifu might win this one. Uh, Neon White. I like these. This is a stack category. All of these games are great for different reasons. And so if you want to play a kind of, like, open-world platformer that's cute... Strays for you. If you want to play a brawler that makes you feel like you're like incredible, but it's kind of like an um, isometric top down, play Sifu. It really the combat's so cool and it has replayability. I have and Cult of Lamb is just like I said, it's kind of like Hades um, with resource management and also like a little bit of m sacrifice and mushrooms. So best mobile game. I cannot. I have never played a mobile game. Just kidding, but not really. Best community support. <laughs> I'm not voting in these. Innovation and accessibility. Uh, I think God of War probably has the best accessibility. Santa Monica Studios, Sony is pretty fucking great. So I'm going to just throw that one in there. Um, best VR AR. Well, he, uh, it's, well, hmm. Best action game. Fuck you, Call of Duty. Anyways, I love Call of Duty, and Call of Duty should probably will win this, but I don't care. Um, I'm voting for the underdog because you have billions of dollars and an award in there. I was just at the... Listen, I know for a fact, though, that Infinity Ward keeps all of their... Um, things in their cabinets because I was there last week and I was looking through all the ones and let me tell you they keep all of them including all of the Tony Hawk Pro Skater ones are in there and all of the like launch partner ones Modern Warfare 2 you know uh, the trophies kind of dry up towards the end <laughs> there's not a lot towards the end there but I'm sure this one will work anyways best action adventure um if I had to vote and I hadn't played and I've played all of them, I would go Horizon um, Forbidden West here just because I'd like to even things out. I'm going to go ahead and just say God of War because it's probably that, like, I don't, I find it hard to not vote for it. Best role playing. Well, it's certainly not Pokemon. Triangle strategy. Live, listen, I am a buff, two hand wielding. Giant god killing sword man without a shirt and just pants and shoes running around and a helmet. I think Elden Ring's perfect. Best fighting game is Multiverses. This one should be a smash. Multiverses is the single closest thing we've had to a triple A. Smash alternative that has delivered on countless ways um, more than I've ever wanted. But if you like any of the other ones, that's cool. What happened to multiverses? Nothing. Sifu, though.
But Sifu is very good. I just, how are you going to look at the ability to fight Iron Giant as Tom and Jerry, and then, you know, you fucking, uh-oh, who's that? Superman. What, what is Superman doing? He's fucking losing to Morty from Rick and Morty. Okay, that's great. That's fun. You get to do all of that. Sifu is just a very fun, clean game that doesn't really have replayability. This is, Multiverses is like, not cringe Fortnite brawler. You know. Anyways, best family game. Kirby. Kur Switch Sports. In fact, I should play Switch Sports. They updated it, and now they have um, some golf, I think, and I need to I need to get in on that, I think. If they have anything that I can do that I haven't played before, they ruined bowling. How did they ruin it? Did they change it up since they launched it, or? They ruined bowling. They ruined bowling. Multiplayer sucks. Because it's the, uh, oh, if you're saying because it's Battle Royale. Ah, yeah. That really, damn, they really did ruin bowling. I actually don't enjoy it. The only thing I enjoyed was volleyball, um, the, I hate, and soccer. And soccer made me lose brain cells because kids straight up just would not play the game correctly. Anyways, it doesn't matter. Point is, next category. Best sim strategy. Uh... Skip. Although Two Point Campus is probably pretty good. And um, I don't know about Intergalactic Drug War. Ski up. Best sports racing game. They really went, we don't know what the fuck to call this. So how are you going to have best sports racing game and not have Horizon 5? Did that come out last year? Huh. All right, I go with FIFA 23 then. Sue me! Next up, best multiplayer. Well, <laughs> the options are so enticing. Um, which outstanding online multiplayer gameplay and design, including co-op, massive multiplayer experiences, irrespective of game or genre or platform. See, in Call of Duty, I can play multiplayer across all sorts of things, including um, Warzone 2, DMZ, multiplayer, Spec Ops. Um, but I can only do it for about 45 minutes, and then it crashes. In Multiverses, I can play with all of my friends, but the downside is that they have to play a brawler, which means I play with none of my friends because none of my friends play brawlers that aren't Smash. Overwatch 2 is great, but the only people that play Overwatch 2 now is nobody, so that's tough. And I don't play Splatoon or Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, so I don't really know who to vote for. I'm going Call of Duty. And... Uh... Content creator of the year. Well, this is mob, so this is kind of hard for me. So we've got the power of Carl Jacobs, Ludwig, Nibelian, Nobru, and Cutie. Um, I don't see Smitty on here, and I certainly don't see myself. And I also don't see Mr. Beast um, made a positive and important impact on the community. Well, um... I'm going to be honest with you. I don't know who Nobru is, and I don't know who Nibelian is. And um, I, so because of this, I am going to say that I am going to just not vote for anybody. And I'm going to abstain unless Dream is on there. Thoughts? Is it is it a game award or is it a does Lud play games? Does any of these people play games? Seriously, is it a game awards that we're celebrating gamers or are we celebrating content creators? Because Mr. Beast doesn't play content. Don't worry, he's in the groomer of the year category. Mr. Beast, oh no. Hey, be nice to that kid. All right, I shared a I shared a hotel floor with that guy. All right, no dream. Oh, hey, be nice to that guy. I shared a whole hotel floor with that guy. And I, I think he was at TwitchCon. 
I was like, damn, I didn't know that about Mr. Beast. I didn't know that about Dream either. Really makes you think, allegedly. You should say allegedly before you accuse people. Um, anyways, what is this? Best debut indie. Well, it's I mean, it's Stray for me. Um, best adaptation. Well, see, here's actually a fucked up good category for once in our lives. Best video game adaptation. And we have Arcane, Cyberpunk Edge Runners, Cuphead Show. I can't see Sonic winning, and certainly not Uncharted, no matter how much they try. But Edge Runners and Arcane were both fantastic. And if you haven't already watched the Cuphead show, it is really good. But unfortunately, Cuphead show, despite being good, does not even come close to how found fan fucking tastic Arcane and Cyberpunk were. It's between the two, and I'm going to say that because of how much I enjoyed Arcane. For once in my goddamn life, I'm going to vote for a League of Legends thing because I still really did enjoy Cyberpunk and do, but I think that Arcane actually made me re-download League of Legends, and that in itself is a miracle. So I can't believe it. I am going to vote for Arcane. I desperately want a season two of that. Doesn't mean I want season two of Cyberpunk, but I'm like on the ninth episode of the season and like slowly getting through it, and it's just like, you know? Arcane is so good. It's so good. It's so good. Most anticipated game. Hogwarts Legacy. Nobody fucking at me. All right? I don't care if you're about Final Fantasy number 75. I don't care about Resident Evil 4 Remake. Even though I really do, it's going to be good. Starfield. Is that game even going to come out? Who knows? And Legend of Zelda, Tears of the Kingdom. It's going to be more like Tears of Zelda fans when it doesn't win the fucking category. Hogwarts Forever. I want to get in there and Avada Kedavra some bitches. All right? I'm going to not play Quidditch because it's not in there. Hogwarts Legacy is like February. I'm cranking Hogwarts. Best esports game. For the game that has delivered the best overall esports experience. Well, this is tough because on one hand, night mode music is used in the Valorant Champions Tour. On the other hand, we have music as a music kit in Counter-Strike, which you can still purchase for $5 or $8 stats uh, track. So, I don't know. But actually, best esport. Um... As a viewer, it's probably League of Legends. <laughs> probably. They're, I mean, it's just so well-produced. Um, as a gamer and enthusiast who cares about these games, Counter-Strike's most recent major was so unbelievable in most ways that I have no choice but to vote for it while also looking at Rocket League and saying, God damn it, I wish you were so much bigger than you are because you're so cool to watch. Valorant. Thanks for using our music. Dota. I'm just jealous Dota has the biggest prize pool and always has. Best esports athlete judged to be the most outstanding for performance and conduct. Uh, okay. Um, well, it's going to be simple here, boys. <laughs> it's going to be simple here. Best esports team. Well, it's gonna be the boys. LA Thieves. Best esports coach. Well, given that I actually don't know any of these people, um, I am going with Nadis Vinci. I'm going with, I'm gonna not vote actually, because I don't know him. Best esports event. Probably Worlds here, you know? Not even the re recent Major and Valorant Champions was really cool, but like... Alright. I don't know. Yeah. Cool. So you can vote. They're gonna just sit in a room, bunch of greasy guys, and just be like, oh my god. Oh my god. All right. 
Let's play video games. Only one of these had Lil Nas X at it, so... Which one? Gonna vote for League of Legends once, vote for it three times. Alright, hear me out. I want a music kit in League of Legends. Don't even know how it's possible, but it is criminal that League of Legends does not have any way to do music. Why is there not a taunt or a dance? Like, why can't we sell emotes in this bitch? Hello? What are we doing? Night mode skins would go hard in League. I mean, they would never do skins like that in League, but hey. KDA? Is KDA not involved at all with anything in the game? Or is it just, or are they, or do they have stuff? Blizzard skins. KDA is not Blizzard. Yeah, KDA is a uh, fucking riot. Oh. Oh. God damn it, dude. I was hanging out for a bit there. Forgot that I had to go straight back into the goddamn Adderall blender, you know? Still have dreams of a night mode racing suit. Hey, that would be a cool thing to have, that's for sure. Which gun unlocks this camo? The MK2 to level 19. Trying to hold it together. Dota is Valve? Yes. Dota is Valve, TM. You had that rainbow camo? Where'd you unlock that? That is the awful camo of the Desert Eagle to level 19? Okay. No! Help! Get, get rid of this. Get rid of this. Get rid of this. Just take it the fuck off, okay? Yeah, just save the de dude. The deagle is so gross. It's so gross because I could have, I would have, I if I like literally, I would have completed it. I would have completed it like in, in half as much time, probably in a third as much time, if I just had hardcore as an option. When are we seeing FPS Pacifist reboot? Dude, what the fuck would I even do when you think about it? Try putting my Mountain Dew codes in. This site is so slow. Yeah, it's because everybody's fucking pounding it away with bots trying to guess them. I actually don't know if that's true or not, but that's just what I would assume. What are Mountain Dew codes? What are Mountain Dew codes? God, I want my two times X. P. It's so rough to not have it always on because then, like, I, you can. It's so noticeable. Oh, God. Watch this. Ugh. Watch that. Oh, man. It's perfect. It wasn't. Okay. Not sure what he's doing. It's fine. Okay. Okay.
FPS pacifist try, trying to get a Warzone win. That would be so much fun, actually. Hey, good idea. Remind me to do it. Hey, Siri, set a reminder to try and get a pacifist win in Warzone uh, next Friday at 6 p.m. That'll be a surprise to get a notification for. I'm going to be like, what the fuck was I making that for? I'll be like at dinner. Twenty ounce, you get thirty minutes of weapon XP. Yeah, I'm not doing that. That's so. That's not enough. Oh my god, that's just not enough. I gotta get four Mountain Dews to get myself a fucking two hours of Mountain Dew XP. Holy shit, that's so rough. Listen, my kidneys have kidney stone. My bladder has developed kidney stones. All right, I'm going to be pissing them. Fuck, that was a bad. Spec Ops. Fisher Price. Yeah, uh, we were actually gonna do, we were actually gonna do it, and uh, I'm not moving. I'm not a coward. I should have moved. We were gonna do it, but it's a uh, Spec Ops is two uh, two people only, so Smitty and I might do it instead because we were gonna do it with Eli. Oh, that's awful. Whatever. Yeah. Let me know, baby. There we go. Yeah. Because I'm down. Uh, I did the ones in 2019. They were pretty fun. I just didn't know that it was two players. I thought for whatever reason, I thought it was... That was four. Unless you're lying. Looks like it's time for a return. Let's go. It's a 50 caliber round. Like I just like what? Like what? Like what? Like, like what? Like what? <sighs> Spec Ops was four. Collateral. Oh. Ah! Requesting recon at my location. Copy that. UAV is on station. Yeah, that's what I was saying. I knew I wasn't crazy. Anyways, doesn't matter. Point. Oh, okay. Okay. Crawl. Oh, what I would give to go watch Lincoln Park one last time in concert. God, it would have been so good. Chester was so good. Why do you have to go ruin it? He had to go kill himself. Oh. What are the odds that Anonymous can give me... Dude, no. Oh, God. I don't, I don't know how else to say this, but, like... It feels like this scope, despite not saying it has a ADS speed buff, it feels like it does... I don't know if it's placebo or otherwise, but it reminds me of the Car 98 scope from uh, like World at War or whatever the hell. Brand, thanks for gifting a sub. Not anonymous, but still counts. Appreciate you. Don't squander that sub. All right. You think they're going to add the Car 98 to this? What other snipers? So we have the L96, which is basically just a glorified op. And then what other snipers do you think that they'd add into this game? Looking, since we already have the SP whatever is the intervention, correct? I'm trying to think what, like the R700 would be fun, but we kind of already have that one. Uh, the Barrett, I mean, is this not the 50 cal? Like, what, I mean, what do you think this thing is? The Dragonov honestly would be fun. I don't care who you are. I think that'd be fun. The VSS, yo, give me the Wa 2K. A one chamber sniper, that'd be fun. SKS is gonna be a marksman. What the hell? Playing aim labs, aim labs right now. What the? F did we just trade? No, we didn't. Wait, we did. We traded. Hey, yo. 
Hell yeah, Call of Duty. That's cool. I love getting a nice trade in a in a normal Call of Duty map that doesn't feel like bullshit, you know? We both shot. Car in the SKS? I mean, I don't know if those fit the era. Yeah, I don't know. But, well, you can always rely on, like, old Russian weapons because if there's anything in the Middle East that's generally speaking what they're going to be using, whether it's the Car 98 or something else, so don't worry too much about it. Pedals Porter, thank you for the gifted sub to Simple, but I never thought that it was... I thought the Car 98 was kind of lame in the last game, even though it was a good sniper. I just kind of was like, well, I wish we would have had something new. Also, we don't need like a quicker, we have a lot of snipers now that I think about it. Well, you know what we need more of that we don't have? We need, I think we need more situational weapons, like weapons that are weird but can be used uniquely. Um, I'm thinking of, like our, I don't think the SMGs we have are that cool. The Scorpion, please, yes, why not? The AA-12, the Bison, I know, well, yeah, I have the Bison, it's good. Hmm. Looking at buying either God of War or Modern Warfare 2, you only got coin for one. My guy, that is a very tough one, yeah? I would, uh, I would, uh, yeah, I don't know, man. If I, I, I think it depends on what kind of gamer you, you are. If you have no friends, none at all, not, not even shaming. If you just have no friends to play games with and you're not, and, and you're just like somebody who just is looking for a game to play, play God of War. It's going to be like 30 hours if you speed run it, 50 hours if you like really drag it out. No, we definitely are dropping some frames right now. I don't know what's been going on with my frames. Also, I don't know why I just changed this. Uh, okay, he's laying down. That's it. Fuck him. Yeah, but I mean, also, like, I think if, like, because I just say, I say all this because Warzone's fucking free, you know? He's on the ground, Bongo! Ah! Alright, I might, I might swap to knife this game chat. Just save myself from the... Let's do it. It's time. We're gonna be stabby. The enemy 
Oh. Okay. Shit. That guy was probably like, oh my god! Wait, 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 wait. That's fun. Oh, this is this is definitely the right move. When I if you just if I just get start getting rolled in the game, this is what I'm doing. No! Please. It's actually hard, huh? I should probably lie and wait more. <laughs> what the hell? Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> if you want to grind knives equip white riot shield, is it, you mean as a primary? But, but then it's so, but it's so hard to. But it's so hard because then I can't sneak, you know? But I hear you. Knifing pisses so many people off, it's hilarious. I mean, it is it is very annoying. Because the movement speed buffs that you can get are just, like, gnarly. But are we sure? Is there not, like, sprint speed attachments I can add to, to my primary to make my default speed fast? Or... Do I have double time? Yeah, I do. Bro. Swimming through the void, we hear the word. We lose ourselves, but we find it all. Only a double time will work, gotcha. Alright, here we go. God damn it, UAV. Oh. No! <laughs> I have a goat. I have ghost on. I know. Look, you got to go with the big flank. God damn it.
I'm gonna try something that somebody said. Turn off the high resolution texture streaming. Uh. Rip. It's okay. I did update my drivers. Get a snack. What do you mean? No, why not? I had to get her a cookie. Who's winning the World Cup? Belgium. Pretty good, right? Um, if I had to guess. Norway, not going to win. Thought Muncher 19. Do you think he's 19 years old? His name is Thought Muncher. You guys remember when we had theater mode? Because I was just about to put on knives to cross map, and then I thought, how do I even check what my cross map knife does? You know? Born in 2019. U.S. makes it farther than Mexico. Book it true. I actually think U.S. makes it farther than Canada now. You know what's crazy, though? If you had asked me the same thing three months ago, which I think somebody did, I said sarcastically, we're winning, the U.S. is winning the group. But now, if, if if England has a shit showing, I think the U.S. actually, and the U.S. plays well, I think the U.S. could actually um, win the group. They just have to get a little bit of luck. A lot of luck, actually. T 
Technology isn't there, sadly. <laughs> For the theater mode, I know. Mexico doesn't even make it out of group. Well, I mean, one of... I mean, hey. The likelihood that both U.S. and England make it out is uh, not... Uh, who and where? You need to go find God. A beer in Qatar is going to cost $92. Are you serious? That's how they're going to... Oh, so that's how they're going to make it so you can't drink. I didn't even think about that. $92. Holy shit. Hmm. Well, that's what you get for trying to go to the World Cup, you fucking pussy. Irish fa- Oh my god. Wait, I got noob tubed! People will go broke on alcohol anyways? No, that's fucked up. I'm saying like that's fucked up that that's like the answer instead of just letting people drink, but whatever. Um, also, what's fucked up is like employing slaves to build your World Cup stadiums and then ruining all the schedules of the teams to put it in uh, the holidays. One thing that I do like is the fact that it's during the holidays because guess what, everyone? Honestly, I got nothing else better to do. I'm not going home for the holidays. So instead of football, it's going to be so crazy. I'm going to get to watch World Cup and football in the same weekend. You know how weird that's going to be? Black Friday is going to be incredible. I'm going to literally be at the bar searching for black bu blockbuster deals. Blackbuster. Blockbuster deals on Black Friday. While the U.S. dicks down England for the second time in history. Sorry, way more than the second time. You guys remember when the U.S. advanced out of the group stages and England didn't? You guys remember that time? That was pretty funny. Actually, no, that's not true. The U.S. advanced in first out of the group stage. Because you guys had a world-class keeper performance. Who got megged. And nobody. Calling in accounts of UAV. Copy, counter UAV is blocking enemy recon. Just a part of your plan. Pistol chicken is blocking enemy recon. Counter UAV is down. I hate that guy going there every time. It's like, dude, go find some other place to go spend your time. Like, bro, go on vacation. Ready? Oh, no. All right. Oh, God, I got... Okay. Okay. It's a 50 caliber round. How are their hit markers? Did you turn off? Oh, I didn't. Thank you. Good call. How do I do it again? Go to options, graphics, quality, texture, resolution. No. On demand texture streaming. Turn that off. Fuck it, baby. What does it do? I don't know. One less thing to stream. Yeah, second or third is more realistic, Tubbs. Friendly UAV online. Oh my god. Fuck.
All right, boys. Now I am feeling good. Oh, God. Oh, you can run up there. Um... I had no idea. McGuire against Blitzkrieg and Reyna? What do you mean? Are you... Are you... Are you sniffing my cock right now? Is um does England play a back five or flat back or not a flat back but a, a back five? Hmm, boring. Wow. I don't have fucking shit. I know, Fuzzy. I agree. France for suff France will suffer under Mbappe pal and Germany won't score enough. What? <gasps> I almost had a three piece. Chief. No! What? How? Brazil stacked. Brazil's probably gonna go the distance that Belgium can't.
as a Belgium, Belgium won't. Tough. Oh, shit. Sorry, brother. Oi, bro. Oi, bro. You got a license for that. What the fuck? And before we get another Brazil meme. Why are you playing COD UK edition? Bruh. Canada underdog train stopped when Davies got hurt. Pretty much. Like literally. I know Canada's more than Davies, but I'm just saying that, like, dude, I mean, you're insane if you think that they're going to be able to compete e anywhere near at the same level now. guy Ted Lasso inspired the team US can't fail now I mean yes and no like they totally can and Ted Lasso I mean I just think that we're playing way better mm -hmm. then um okay I just think we're playing way better than the sum of our parts. No way. No! This is uh, a tough, a tough situation, I'm not gonna lie. Oh god, I didn't even mean we to do that. Keep them Fuck. We are losing Bravo. Friendly SAE launched. Throwing You're going broke during the 2026 World Cup on tickets. I'm gonna get as many as I can, but realistically, I'm gonna I'm gonna try and. Um... Oh my god, that's funny. But realistically, I'm probably gonna just try and get one U.S. game no matter what. If they have one in L.A., great. If not, that sucks. But I'll still try and go. If they have a bunch in L.A., then I'm gonna just try and see how much they are and, and you know work on that. Cause like, dude, it's the World Cup. In my, in my damn city.
fuck. Oh no. No! That's Browns! I gotta get some goddamn kills, damn it. I keep hitting control, I need to unbind it. No way. I mean, look, everybody's gonna do showmanship or whatever and play the game at, just to win. You're rolling on the ground, whatever, and the World Cup is annoying, but like, dude, play CONCACAF and playing CONCACAF soccer or like watching it and 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 experiencing co like the way that they play. I'm just like glad at any point. I'm just glad at any point that we have people that aren't from CONCACAF. No! Fuck, I tried to slide. CONCACAF is literally like just barely the same sport. That's why I'm like so stoked that that's part of the reason why it's like frustrating to watch the US play because like they're like, yo, we played CONCACAF. That was so crazy. I love like knowing how to play the sport of soccer. And then like we play against like European teams and they just fucking shred because they're just better. And you're like, oh, okay. And we just get destroyed in the world on the world stage. But now that we have like way more than way more players actually competing on the same on the world stage, then I'm stoked. Different gravy, yeah. The Gengar stuff is cool.
I got a piss, chap. Sorry. I go to <clears throat> I go to Kaylee and I say, "Hey, have you had anything nutritional?" And she says, "Yeah, just that." And points to a box of tr of wheat thins. Can somebody point to uh can somebody tell me what uh the Ronaldo drama is with Man City or Man United? Cuz I saw the um like their post and I was like, "That's cool. I'm not reading all that." I know I'm dating a gremlin. That's why that's why she was single, dude. You think somebody that hot could be single for that, you know? For for like I I'm 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 uncovering traumas. Like wheat thins? That's not healthy. Bullied out of the club, he's saying. Oh. Oh, boo hoo. Oh, boo hoo. I'm being bullied out of the club. I'm crushing out of Ronaldo. Boo hoo. He's out of shape, doesn't start, gets mad. You know what, dude? That's so fucking funny. Like, I love, I am the type of coach enjoyer where, I don't know if that's the right word, where I literally like. Oh wow, look at look at you with look at you trying to, you know, justify starting just because you did perform well in the past, but you've currently been shitting the bed. No, like if there's a next person up that fills the void well enough, like you go you let them go. Like you let them start. Yeah, saying all that before the World Cup is annoying too. Like takes all the attention away. Now you know damn well people are going to be looking at their now you know damn well people are going to be looking at their um oh my god looking at the his games and being like well if he doesn't perform then like surely this man's not like getting forced out of man U for any other reason than he sucks like he put a target on his back that he didn't need to he could like it's just so i mean unfortunately he's he's got like he's got whatever napoleon syndrome not really but whatever it's called where he's like always in perpetual like need for like reassurance and, and like care and motivation 
He's like, does everybody still love me? Uh oh. No! What up? Yo, Eric. <laughs> what up, T? How you doing, man? Yeah, Complex. That's what I'm talking about. But not pay playing him in the matches because he left a match early. And then he gave an interview saying he has no respect for the manager. Who's the manager of Man U? Isn't Man U sucking cock right now, though? Like, historical cock? Like, historical peen? Director's not believing about him being sick. And, but his bitches about pundits doing their job calling him out for poor performances was... Okay, I gotcha. Er, Eric Ten Hag. Worst they've been. Why does Ten Hag... So Ten Hag took over after Sir Alex. Right? And I've, I've heard him before. I just don't know what... No? Who was before... Who is... Bro. There's been loads. There's like four managers. Okay. Damn. Damn. Ramirez, take it out with a fucking throwing knife. Uh, I remember people saying, uh, <laughs> I remember people saying, uh, Glazers out. Who the fuck is that? Uh, is, or, that's not the same thing. That's Liverpool, right? Oh, shit. He literally said all his former teammates are shit and jealous because of him because they've been doing poorly. He's insane. Oh, they're the owners. Gotcha. Who's the worst ownership in, in the entirety of the uh, Premier League? Like, who is the single... Like, the U.S. has fucking Dan Snyder, right? Like, like Robert Kraft gets hand jobs at masseuse parlors and has an illegitimate child discovered this year and nobody bats an eye, right? But, like, Dan Snyder, like, tra traffics humans and, like, like holds their passports for lewd photos on the, like, cheerleading team and shit. But, like, who... But, like, who... You know, who has... I Like, all I hear about Premier League is, like, Oilers and, uh... Like, that... And just, like, bad mismanagement. You're right. Kraft invests fuck all into the revolution. Wait. Kroenke is, uh... Who's he own? What? Who's Stan own? Stan, my good buddy Stan. I call him by his first name because we're on good first first name terms. Arsenal? Oh. Well. Oh. I didn't know that. Or maybe I did know that and I blocked it out. Huh. If we're talking about mismanagement, then you got to point to... Who's the biggest money pit? Would it be the Browns? Like, it's so hard because, like, in, like, there's relegation and shit. Like, eventually, like, you get forced out because you're, like, you're just a shit owner. City? The Lions? Uh, I guess. Maybe. Wait, but isn't City doing so well that it doesn't matter in the first place? Isn't it kind of like, um... worth it because Holland is just a career character right now wait who spent more city or PSG <laughs> Eric this is my high school rock playlist when the owner of the Raiders dies Mark Davis will have to sell his team because he doesn't have enough money to pay the taxes um yeah well you know what sucks the fact that Mark Davis is the last real renegade uh, owner, and as soon as, you know, as soon as fucking, uh, uh, fucking Bezos buys the, as soon as Bezos buys the uh, commanders and renames them to the primes or whatever, <laughs> then I don't know what we're gonna do because there's only there's only so many like it's so fucked, but like I'm happy that the Ravens have like a relatively like who mega lol owner okay who you know who owns the ravens exactly unless you're like a fan of the ravens you're not gonna know but like but like you know the oh did i just kill him no i got a hit marker but like 
The, the amount of money you need to have in order to buy an NFL team is so nuts now that I'm really trying to think outside of just like a huge, like how many people actually have enough money to buy an NFL team? You need like $2 billion. Like who who is who is a multi-billionaire with enough money? God, please know Elon. Actually, he does not. Elon Musk to buy United. That lotto winner. Uh, the Bezos Washington Primes. Dude, any primers? I think that it would be insane. Like, think about think about everything uses Amazon Pay in the stadium, including whole, there's like Whole Food, like there's so many Amazon subsidiaries in there, and you just now all, ultimately you have like you just turn this into this like Amazon mecca. They're gonna just fucking they're gonna make it look so good, and it's gonna be so frustrating because like I won't think. Like, every, anybody could, whoever is the next owner, as long as it's not Dan Snyder, they're already twice as good as Dan Snyder. Like, it's hilarious how easy their job is. If they get a, they get five years free, they can do whatever they want. They could rename it to the Washington, like, they could rename them to the Washington Reds, Redskins, and people would be like, well, uh... Well, at least it's not Dan, maybe, and then you, that people would be like, all right, I guess. I think it's that good that Dan Snyder would be forced out. It's He's so toxic for the league and for everything. Also, Ursay is, like, the most coked out human I've ever seen. That was incredible. I got outplayed. You need to own 30% of the team to be like the owner apparently, right? Like major you need to own at least 30% of the team is like the, I think the general. Spotify camp new. What if Spotify bought a team like and it was like the fucking Spotify's Ew, ew, ew Okay, talk Maybe it's time you put it down thoughts No, never mind. We can keep it Just kidding pick that up pick that up pick uh, uh, The Washington Spotify Shufflers, ew. The Spotify Weeklies, oh God. Yo, it's that time, it's the Spotify release radar Friday night game versus the Spotify Weeklies versus the Washington Primers. Let's go everyone. Wow, there he is, there's, 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 there's bags. The Amazon Primer's mascot. Look at that happy brown paper bag smile. And and there and there they go. Wow. A literal hellscape. I mean, you know what's funny? We enter as we get too rich, which is something that like I think it's so funny because we're actually hitting like Elon Musk is hitting the point where he's too rich. And he's like, what happens when you max it out in like uh, Total War or something, or like, or like City Skylines? You're like, I'm just gonna fucking make this part awful to live in. Why? Because it doesn't matter. I just am gonna do it. Like, it, and and without those repercussions, you know, and being IRL end game in the wallet, you're just like, what is to stop Bezos from literally naming it the Washington Bezos? Like what, like what, I know that he wouldn't probably, but that's a probably, we don't know for sure that he wouldn't literally name him the Jeff Bezos. 
plural or the base base eye the washington base eye and you're just like i you what are you supposed to do i'm not going to support that team jeff Bezos is like i will run this team at a five million billion dollar a year loss until i die and and it's just like oh all right what if he just changes the name of the team every year every week to a different smart url all right it's the fucking it's the fucking amazon dot 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 like f, -B f ball and it's like everything from that link is 50 percent off and i'm just like i don't even know if this is allowed but who's gonna stop him He's got so much money. Amazon's like, or the NFL's like, that's it. We're going to find you $500 million. He's like, okay. Guys, Jeff Bezos is, he's hit end game. It's not good. We can't have this. I think the other team owners have to approve their team names. You're probably, yeah. So wait, they all approved the commanders. I guess everybody probably approved it because they're like, God, that's awful. There's no way that, can they change it? There's, I think that, I think that. All right. I think that, um, I think that, uh, that <laughs> the other options were, were awful. I mean, I hope that they know they could probably rebrand it and get away with and get away with changing things up there. But I also want to know if that's even like on their radar because it would probably be expensive, but you could really get the, the you could really say, listen, we need to scrub Dan Snyder out of this bitch. And so that means we're getting a new name because nobody's attached to the commanders. There's going to be people with the weird, like I will buy knockoff, not even knockoff. I will buy the retired commanders merch and wear that shit unironically because it's probably going to be one of those things. You change the name, you have the fans vote on it, and then you already get a leg up because you're not Dan Snyder. That's what I would do if I had the billions of dollars to purchase the team. So if you guys want to crowdfund it, the Twitch Primers. The commies, dude. Don't DC names follow the same sort of nationals, capitals? Yeah, so I mean, but commies, nationals, capitals, the 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 wizards? Hello? Like what? The wizards? No. And then like and the Redskins prior to that were like I I just think that you need to look at it and you need to say you need to do something strong. You need to do something central and you need to do something patriotic. We have the Patriots, okay? You can't do something that's outright, but like you gotta do <clears throat> I know that somebody said like the wild the wildcats. Like why not do something like that if you wanna do an animal? The red cats, the uh the Wizards did, did used to be the Bullets. Yeah, that's true. By the way, tomorrow, guys, stream's going to be cut short because uh, I am getting... I am going to be a guest on the final plate, which is the uh, mixed plate finale with Andy Lunique, a.k.a. I'm going to just be a guest in the Skype call at 4 o'clock Pacific time. And so they want me to raid the channel and then hang out in there. So that's what I'm doing because, I mean, they're paying me and it would be dumb not to. So that's what I'm going to do. Um, so I'll be streaming normally and then uh, that'll happen at like 4 Pacific. Presidents, Brigade, Red Hogs, Washington football team. Listen, I just think it's funny because Washington football team defenders was good red wolves was good because they already call it the the wolf den or whatever the armada is bad that's some spaceship but the commander's awful washington football washington football team was literally bland and bland was fine it's gonna you're not gonna be able, i think that it, when you look at every single nba team all right think about their logos we were talking i was talking about this to kaylee the other day dude um all right yo GG's match. See you later, brother. Uh, I was talking about this the other day with Kaylee. We were looking at the Bulls logo, the Washington or the the Chicago Bulls logo. That shit ugly. All right, it looks like a PNG from Ward Art. It sucks. It's not good. And you're like, all right. I mean, you like the 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 Charlotte Hornets. 
Why why were the Hornets chosen? I don't really know, dude. Like the Pelicans, okay, cool. Like the Sonics, the Jazz, the like there's so many things that are out there and you can either tie it. Jesus Christ, shut shut up. You either tie it to You either tie it to the um sorry, I gotta mute this guy. You either gotta tie it to the city, which you have so much to do with that. Like like you're in DC, you have all this political stuff. You have all the history there. Or you just make something fucking cool. Domination. Chicago Fire is kind of fucked up when you think about it. But Chicago Bulls, I don't care about the Bulls being like, no, Random Animal is fine. I'm just saying it's an ugly logo. I'm just saying that like, if the Bulls were to, if the Bulls were to rebrand, or the Brown, like the Browns don't even have, I like literally the Browns just said fuck it, we have the Elf. Um, and everybody's like, why? And they're like, because literally, like, we need something. Or else, like, people think we have no soul. And they're right. I literally, I think the Browns franchise has nothing. But, like, the Washington histori the historians, that'd be fucking stupid. The jo Washington, George Washingtons. Washington generals. Like, the generals would have been funny. The team's name is the Hornet. Okay. The shark. Yeah, see, like, I don't even think that the Hornets having, like, a story name like that is good, is that bad. Like, the Ravens, I think, is fucking sick. And I'm biased. Patriots, fine, whatever. The Bucks, incredible. The Bucks is such a good... The Raiders, so good, dude. The NFL has, like, some creative names. I And then they have the Classics. They got the Bears, right? All right, Oilers. Um, hmm. Ho like hockey has some 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 pretty good ones. So if you want to go with the Capitals, if you want to go with the Washington, like Washington football team was fine. It's like I don't know. You could have called it the Washington strike, the Washington flags, the Washington stars. Ew. There's already two Rangers. The lobbyists, the red tails, the DC. Why couldn't they just be called the DC? Like the DMV would have been, or like DC football team. It shouldn't have even have Washington in, in it. The DC regulators, the law, the lawmakers, the lawmakers kind of sounds sick. Imagine it. It's just, I don't know. You just have like brown jerseys, like, like I'm not, but I'm not talking like, I'm not, I'm talking like brown, like UPS brown and like gold, the litigators. That sounds like they're ready to. Not brown shirts, my friend. Oh, I don't even think about that. Beige. The postals. Oh my God. Make them you wear USPS postal service uniform type things. Call them like the, 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 the Washington servicemen. The Couriers. Oh, the Couriers could be cool. The Presidents? Why do I think the Presidents sounds stupid? Am I just... I think the President... President sounds weird. Like, what would their logo be? A bunch of fucking old dudes? Like literally a bunch of old white dudes and Barack Obama. Like what the like what are we doing with this? And you know what would be even worse, dude? Their mascot would be George Washington. They would play the Star Spangled Banner the entire time, which is fucking mid. All their chants would be like I didn't even cap B. Would be like I don't know. I would just they're they're they just have wigs on their uniforms. Like I don't it would just be I th I just don't want it. We don't need it. Objective. Secure those positions. 
That's why I thought that animal, animal, we need more animals, all right? I think the animals, like the red wolves would have been great. Washington red wolves would have been fucking sick. If the mayor, if, if Baltimore has to change, if somebody's like, hey, we're going to fucking, you got to change off the Ravens, which they wouldn't. For any reason, I'd be like, we got to be the Maryland crabs, dude. The Baltimore crabs, all right? I don't give a fuck if anybody's making a joke about it or the old base. Washington Wolves is all right. Yeah, you need to somebody did a good analysis on how you choose a name and what like ma goes into making a good name and uh, a, a great example is the Washington like you you need a name that both sounds good as a full set of, like spoken um, You know name Red Wolves, but you need to be able to truncate it So it sounds good as well as be able to shorten it into three letters or four letters so that it can appear on like a, a little ticker type thing and so that's why like wolves wlv wlvs like i mean it's just why like i don't know it's just so much nicer thank you yeah but commies is not even that short it's the same it's basically it's still two syllables wolves ravens is doesn't count because there's nothing you can do about that one Chargers, their name is kind of lame. I think Chargers, Chargers, you're no, you you have so much to actually love as a Chargers fan, and you have so much to actually feel cringe about. Okay, and guess what? You can feel cringe about your non-existent mascot. You guys have something called Moji. It's literally a fucking smiley face emoji. That's actually, unironically, the Chargers mascot is an emoji called Moji. Like that sucks. You guys have like. I, I mean, there's so much wrong with the Chargers in that regard, but like there's not really much else they can do The Browns have such an embarrassing situation with like no ability to have some sort of fandom or like fun colors or something like that Like the Browns like I can't explain it, but it's just hideous Yeah, the Kraken was a great new team um, addition. I think soccer's cheating because everybody just gets to do LAFC, LA, whatever, about you know, like like that's that's great, and I'm I'm down for that, right? DC United is the uh, is the soccer team, and that's such a good name. Are you kidding? Surely mascot design can't be that hard. Well, okay. You hate St. Louis's name? It's so long. Uh, San Jose Earthquakes is pretty long. I don't know why I jumped on that one. Oh, through the wall. So devoid of history, they're doing dumb shit like Real Salt Lake, no bitch, Real equals Royal, as in blessed by the uh, Spanish crown. But Real Salt, but Real Salt Lake, was the Shivas team, right? So Salt Lake just adopted a, yeah. So I think that it kind of maybe gets a pass on that one. I see where you're going though, but it's like, cr nothing's cringier than putting like, it's like when countries put a star on and, and they haven't won like a world cup. Obama, if you wanted to be left alone, let me be, dear. <laughs> thanks, Eli. Okay, thanks, uh, guilt. Hope the NBA gets an expansion at some point. We got Cincinnati. Dude, I, I mean, what? The NFL is more likely to get an expansion into Europe or Germany than it is anywhere else. And Roger just said, hey, we're going to get fucking four games in Germany this year. I, you know what? God damn it. Stop. <laughs> Bro, please. Like, like if you, if you really want to do this, 
Make it Germ make Germany make the NFL be a four team expansion league where teams play developmental players in the off season and you have that happen. Well, actually, I would be coldish. Nope, that wouldn't be. It would be warm into cold instead of cold into warm, or the other way around. Doesn't matter. Point is, like, you would you'd be able to do it. And Baba Booey, then I get to fucking. There are three million in queue for Munich. Yeah, like it's such a great idea to just use it. We the U.S. doesn't have a funnel developmental league outside of college, but I don't know if it needs to. I don't think we need more teams. Here's a great example why uh, somebody made a post that explained it in a pretty good detail. Think everybody take a good long sit and think about the offensive line of your team. Think about. How many people don't deserve to have a job in the NFL on that offensive uh, line, in your opinion? Okay? <laughs> can probably name a couple. If you're like a Lions fan or something like that, you're like, what the fuck? I mean, like, you're literally, there. there's so many. Now imagine trying to field four more teams of competent NFL offensive linemen. All right? Are you kidding me? No scope. Like, okay. you're, like you're literally going to be... You're gonna be playing with a paper thin line. I don't think that they're, and like, it's even crazier to think that you could probably get four quarterbacks to perform. But if you think about the quarterbacks that currently are in the NFL right now, think of all of the backup quarterbacks in the, in the NFL. How many of them truly do you think can start? Cause like, Ty, like ugh, I, 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 uh, Tyler Huntley on, on like a good day. Maybe like it's gonna be tough only a few. Yeah, so like adding teams isn't as easy with the NFL as it is with like Soccer and even then adding soccer teams and doing expansion leagues like because the MLS has expanded definitely the fastest over all of them Like you you still have a huge like issue with the amount of talent that you can use to fill Bert thank you for the 84 months Yeah, the NBA, I think you look at, like, the NBA, um, I think you, I know that's why they have the expansion draft. I think you look at the NBA and you say, like, all right, yeah, uh, there's definitely a, 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 a way that you can see there being more people that can compete in the NBA. If you even, you, all you have to do is look at the Olympics, like, the amount of Eastern European, um, Players that are like developing and being a true force in the NBA, and even not just that, people who don't make it in the NBA going over overseas and in Europe and playing in Greece, in Europe, like fucking a lot of people. American football is the second sport in Germany. Yeah, I love that. Uh, there's um, there is quite a few people who who make comments about that on the Ravens subreddit saying like I don't know why but usually it's just like hey I'm you know X looking to support a team who should I go and I think it's great whenever you're looking at it in, like get interested in a team a lot of people can gravitate towards like the small but like sometimes talented underdogs and that's why I think a lot of the Ravens fandom for Germany comes from that Next year's number one pick is going to break the league. Uh, why? Dude, the amount of people that have been quote-unquote generational league-breaking talents and then turned out to be jack shit is nothing. Seven five shooter. Oh. Oh, that guy. I've seen the, I've seen the video of the dude. He Is he the dude? Is he the dude that puts... Like he literally looks like a, a a creative character went wrong. I've seen him like 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 put some moves on people and drive to the hoop and dunk. And I was like, why is the big man moving so fast? Like like shouldn't he be like breaking? It feels like his movement should be like groaning. Like. I suck. Even more touted than LeBron was simply because he's seven five and just unguardable because he's that big. 
Yeah, he looks like a height glitch, my player. I showed Kaylee some, um, I think I showed Kaylee some, a clip of him. And I was, and I was like, look, and she's like, Jesus, is this in high school? And I was like, I was like, but look, you, you need to understand, like, she, he's making people who are six foot five look like they're four foot four. I mean, yeah, joints are always going to be the first to go. The bane of my blunder years. Hollywood undead, I know. Yeah, I mean, leverage is a hell of a thing. I just realized I played like 40 minutes, not even like ranking up my character or my gun. I mean, I just think, I think that like having high, having social media is definitely allowed for people to become more in more in tune with and aware with like who to pay attention to as a scout um but the the flip side is that it definitely does give you a lot more attention and the people that like like if you only hear about five people a year and uh and one of them make it each year you're like damn 25 percent is pretty good but if you're hearing about people left and right who are assuredly the next x person the next like lebron james x, and they and like one a year pops off you're like, what the fuck? There's like 10%, 5%. I'm getting worked. I can't even get out of spawn. Has score-based matchmaking fully caught up? Yeah, probably a little bit of that. Like, I was having fun playing, so I could tell that this game was uh, about to kick me in the dick. Oh, my God. But, um, you know, that's fine. Oh my god, I'm getting fucking slid into and shit. Bash for having fun. Yeah, but also, like, I'm sniping and still doing fine, so... I, oh god. So, like, uh, you think he's okay? So, like, because of that, this is still gonna be a positive game for my score-based matchmaking. Oh my god. Like, my game is still gonna be like, oh my god, we gotta fucking crush him. He's having too much fun now. Look at this guy. Look out. Ow. I find it hard to give a shit about anything in college. Fucking cock. Okay. Because I didn't even go to college, and so I don't have any attachment to any of the teams or any You're of the dead. sports. Okay. What the hell? Okay. What the fuck is he saying? He's just saying this to random people. But, um... Yeah. I know Hutch gets into this, please. Here's, th here's my take on score-based matchmaking. Skill-based matchmaking. I don't really care. Uh, it sucks when I'm getting my ass handed to me, and it doesn't suck when I'm doing well. And oftentimes I feel like now I do less good than I usually do, but like I could just be getting old, so I just like don't care enough.
35 whole years. Thank you for the uh, resub, Matt. Uh, might be shame. <laughs> so long. Huh, I did uh, pull the trigger. Is this the new need for speed? Yes. Man, I'm almost 30. You know, I am almost 30 as well, but uh, I don't... I don't really care right now. I'm sure I will at some point. You know, like, I I like, I like think that I think that it, it, it is important to feel... to feel in control of... Uh, Uh oh, guys! I'm just gonna lay down here. Hey, hold on. This is gonna be fine. This guy is just saying fucked up things. It's just. <laughs> Dude, you chamber that so fast. What? Anyways, 30s a new 18. No, I just. All right. So two things. One. I think that as at, I think that people growing up, parents or whatever said high school is the best time of your life and all this shit because basically everybody speed ran the the life cycle right. They were like, if you're not having kids by 28, if you're not having kids by 30, the fuck are you doing? Like you're wrong. And I'm like, oh my god, that's terrifying. So like I'm looking at my cousins getting married at 28, and like my one of my cousins and like them having you know kids and um and and everything and i'm like that's really dope that's good that's good but also at the same time i'm like that means that in my head if i'm living to 100 which i'd love to do very very hard especially with how bad i treat myself I i'd like to spend a little bit more time for myself because there ain't no way that you're telling me that my best years were supposed to be 20 to 29 when i was like trying to figure out how to be an adult like there's no shot like now surely now it should be a lot easier because I know what I'm doing to an extent and I feel like okay I'm not gonna waste the free time that I have when I get it I'm 52 is pretty sweet. Yeah. I know that at, at the very minimum, I have uh, plenty of friends and family that are that are pushing 40, 50, 60 that are having a plenty of fun. Like I look at my uncle and I'm like, this man's having fun. I'm gonna be able to have fun. It's reassuring to see people around you have fun. I think that often, like often, like everything in the world, I'm oh I'm gonna fucking knife in here. Like everything in the world, you've got. Uh, you've got perspective um, based off of people around you and so if there's like if your parents are kind of bitter and stuff like that's gonna suck that's gonna rub off on you and if your grandparents are bitter and like your mom and dad and your like if everybody's just bitter like why are you not gonna be bitter are you excited to see the most broken weapon in Warzone 2 new meta found with weapon charts max Yes, I am super excited, mostly because I'm going to play um, and do the quote unquote, this is the worst weapon in Warzone. All right, how am I, uh, how am I doing? Well, I'm alive and that's what matters. Okay. Shit. No, I'm not coming back to Destiny 2. Not because um, it's bad, but mostly because I don't want to get involved with all that, and I don't have the time or the drive to do that. Oh, 
No! He's so mad. If I had gotten him, I would have been so happy. Fuck. I hope I hit him with a cross map. Dude, he's planting claymores and shit. He's mad. This fucking guy, dude, he hates me. He literally hates me. Laying down by the trucks on A? Alright. Don't worry, it'll be fine. Damn it, dude, this is not even fun. Holy shit. Everybody's just sitting in the back. Like, I feel like I'm gonna, like, how the hell? What what is stim? How do wh where is where is stim in this shit? Is there not a stim at all? There is. This is it? Why can't can we have rust instead of this? No, we can't. Dick. Drug use? No, not in my Call of Duty. Fucking Christ. This is like, uh, my- I thought it would be easy to knife on this map, but it is not. Actually, not. I didn't mean to get hit. How? Oh my god. That was bad timing, you know, I hate that. Yeah, you really just struggle. You struggle. I think I could have knifed him with the right click. I'm so fast. No way, dude. Oh. It's so hard. Four and like 30 over here. I mean, my team's doing fine. I'll probably... 
I'll probably just post up. Maybe this will reset my uh, score-based matchmaking, skill-based matchmaking. Have they moved? Not really. They don't know it's... Okay. That was probably fucking terrifying. He turns around, there's nobody there, and he's just like, it's just me knifing his Achilles. I got a zoom. I keep forgetting I have this. Oh shit. Situational awareness of uh, awareness of a sloth. I mean, he can't hear me. I have my fucking dead silence on, dude. This is so fun. Uh, this is like literally the only way I'm gonna enjoy playing in a sweaty lobby from here on out. Like, I think this is it. Oh god. Wait. Three, two, one. No! Turn it around. My game just crashed? Nice. At least it waited till I got out of the game, you know? Somerville? Yeah, it's on my uh, wish list. Nice. WW3, I have no idea what that is.
2D Tarkov-like game? No, what's it called? Sanochan, thank you for the 58 months. Appreciate that. 2D Tarky is zero cyber. That's what you were saying. Okay. Uh, no, I haven't seen it. Let me look. Very interesting. Uh, I don't know if I'll play that, but it is very interesting, yes. As the clout, thank you. Appreciate that, very generous of you. Much love, chat, much love. Thank you, thank you for the 10 gifted. If you guys enjoyed that slash, if you got gifted a sub, make sure you thank As the, please. Okay. Hmm. I hated that map anyways. Thanks, game. It's okay. Don't worry about it. It's fine. $78 billion corporation. Welcome to the WWE, bitches. We're out here. It's high school time. Oh, God. Yeah. Limp Biscuit. It hits right sometimes. Your game hasn't crashed? Well, that's twice back to back in the same game, so it, t it, it does suck that that happened, but like, you know, it's not the end of the world. That's not what I meant to do. I thought I had a throwing knife. Okay. Huh, shouldn't have. Why did I jump there? I simply not bought the game. That's pretty based. Based in. Based in frugal pill. All right, sorry, guy.
Ew. Holy quad feed. Let's go, kid. Dude, these guys are getting fucking flattened, though. Oh! What the fuck are these hit markers? I have an- I have a- I have a- I have a 50 cal, hello? Did we already hear bulls are killing in the name of? No, we didn't. I don't know why I thought I was about to listen to bulls on parade again. Fifty cow can't get hit markers. It's insane. Why is that a thing? Can it please stop it? Please. What the fuck is it doing right now? Where the fuck are they at? Most anticipated game coming up soon. That's a good question. Ah, uh, it's actually a question that I don't. I'm gonna just say Callisto Protocol. But I'm also gonna say that easily can put any of. Pokemon or um, what you might call it into it. Uh, I'm not a Harry Potter fan, but I'll be playing Harry Potter. When Starfield come out, what is it about? And when Starfield coming out, like, is it or is it something that I think I uh, I should play on stream? 23rd. Yeah. All right. I just wanted to make sure that what Need for Speed is gonna be great. Space Fallout. Oh. Next year. Ew. Playing ping pong. Anyways, yeah, Star Citizen is still in development. Yeah, and it's still janky, but hey, probably will be forever. I mean, as long as they're able to fund it, yeah. You know what? I might be I might be one of the few people that I'm like, I don't care about that. Like as long as they're able to fund it, I don't know. Hell fun with friends? That's a problem. Gotta convince your friends to play the unfinished space game. Star Citizen wants to be like Eve Online desperately. God damn it, I keep thinking I have a 
Throw a knife. Every time I use dead sounds, I immediately die. What? Where'd that guy go? Oh, Jesus. Destiny killer in development again? Is Destiny even big enough to have a killer? I don't know. But I mean, hey, that's cool. I think right now what I'm looking for, my gray. Everybody has like a grail game, right? My grail game, like, count, uh, like, my grail game is a game, is Tarkov getting better? Or a game that rivals Tarkov in scope scale and addictiveness. I don't know why or how or if, even if that's going to be like a long-term desire of mine. But that's kind of where I'm at right now. Uh, a game, a grail game that I'd like that probably everybody has is like, I just want a MMORPG that I have a reason to play with my girlfriend, but also more importantly, just like in general. And whether that's uh, the Riot one or another one, Ashes of Creation or whatever, like it's hard for me as somebody who's not really into those games to even know what to get excited about. But that would be something that I'm like, and it's not gonna be Final Fan Fantasy 14 no matter how much you want it to be or anybody wants it to be. Like it's just, I'm talking about a new one, new IP. Wow, it's just not it. Project X details this week. That's cool. Yeah, I'm excited for Project X details too. I mean, I like, you know, uh, I think that they, it's pretty cool to see them do this and I'm gonna always support um, having, uh, I'm gonna always support having people and creators like branch out and do more shit. I think that it's gonna be really interesting to see how the Whatever they make, it's gonna be interesting to see how it stands the test of time because they basically have a built-in content platform the whole way through with everybody on their roster, right? And they can sponsor professional tournaments and stuff. It's just like, I don't know. That's pretty cool. I'm interested to see what they can do with it. But it also has to be good off the rip and I don't, we don't know anything, but yeah. New World, I, I did. I played New World when it came out, and I know it's better now, but like, uh, I don't know. New World ain't, ain't, it ain't, the, it's just not it for, I just can't, like, I don't think, like, if Kaylee was like, yo, I have to play New World, I'd be like, yeah, for sure, like, I'm down to give it a shot with you again. But like, one of the things that bothered me with New World is I didn't feel like there was any reason to craft or do anything, um, or like, literally any reason for me to do half of the shit until like end game and then it because like it wasn't even as meaningful as like it was basically like the burden for crafting stuff to get my level higher was like how do i not carry 400 pounds of of useless shit around with me like where do i drop this immediately so it's not a problem that's stupid Uh, I'm in, I, I'm into MMOs and practice I aiming. Your mom's a whore. Dog shit. All right, well. <laughs> Halsey, thank you for the 19 months.
Holy fuck, that guy got there quick. Point and click adventure. Loading. You can't tell what's the game in some dude's mic. Yes. Made it to 69 nice months. Like to thank my mom's credit card. Oh, fuck. Am I going to have to fucking run around and knife again? Is that what today is doing? Is that what this game is for me now? Every other game I'm allowed to have fun. All right, fuck it. Sorry, Chief. We vibin'? Yeah, the song is chill. Okay. It resets the keybinds every time? Dude, it's so silly. Like, Call of Duty is allergic to saving your progress. Uh, I should have just rushed with the... Allergic to saving your, your keybinds and your progress. It's like, all right, cool. What the fuck? <laughs> ten years slept on for sure. Uh, definitely love me some ten years. God damn it. Ah, uh, no thank you. Oh my god, that's so funny. I thought that was my TV. No. Bitch, <laughs> where are you running? <laughs> What the hell? Works for me. No! Shit! Please. Alright, maybe I run. No, I was not with Hutch. But ride shields are so annoying because they forced you into a play style that's like you're not you don't want to be in, but if you just if you just stop. Oh my god. If you just stop fucking running at them and you just get a thermite it forces them to do you know forces them to play uh in a way they don't want to play and it's actually pretty fucking annoying Oh, 
It's just like, okay. No, it was him again. Curthy Gok, no. Three scoops of pre-workout? Dude, man, it's pork. One pound of dude just absolutely torqued on pre-workout. Just a just a confirmed machine. No. Dude. <laughs> Please. Holy fuck. I wonder, like, really, what is it? I'm up to date on drivers. Warzone and stuff are launching at 10 a.m. Keep it going then. Not the Fennec. Uh, I think we can knife here. Okay, never mind. The song Age Great. Uh, it is very on brand for school shooter. Huh? Is my gun black with white stripes or white with black stripes? I'm pretty sure that ze zebras are black with white stripes, right? Isn't that correct? It's way harder to have an animal that's white with black stripes. In fact, it's like super rare to have all white as an animal.
Uh, I mean, I'm just thinking about it. Like, think about it. Unless you're an albino animal, you really aren't. Oh, man. Oh, that's so fucking terrifying. What about bunnies and polar bears? You're right. That's true. Hey, Kaylee. Are zebras white or black? Are zebras white with black stripes or black with white stripes? No? Oh. She said, ask the computer. Which I guess is a fair thing to say. I mean, I cannot, I cannot, I, I can't argue with that. I mean, yeah, that seems fair. Just to ask the computer while, uh, yeah, I should. The enemy controls two objectives. Get after him. Fuck. I fucking said, I didn't say that. I said they're black with white stripes. Oh. I did not say that. Sorry, I thought you said ask the computer. It was way funnier if you just said, no. said ask the computer. I said that they're black with white stripes. Uh, okay, how are, how do you know they're black with white stripes? Um, because. What do you mean? That's not going to cut it. You can't because, just say that. Because, because. Because of the wonderful things he does. Because it, their noses uh, are black and their, and their hair on their tail is black. Oh, that's actually good. And yeah. And they have a mane like a horse. Yeah, but you're. Shot. Okay. It, that's why. All right. Well, that's pretty neat. All right. Thank you. Resident veterinarian technician Kaylee, everyone. That's me. You hear the race car? That's actually me. That's my. That's the sound of me running around this bitch. This is so toxic. I know. Christ! Fuck! No! Don't! No! He was- <laughs> I was feeling it, man. Oh, I love it so much. This is definitely the best way to have fun in this game if you're just, uh... Uh, not having a good time, you know? If you're just not having a good time, suddenly I'm having a good time. It's like a big old game of dodge, of tag. Oh, shit. If you're not having a bat, if you're not having a Baja blast, what was the other one? If you're not having a Baja blast, if you're oh shit. <laughs> Ugh. 
I'm not having a modello. It's, I'm not really. It's not. Re I'm not really having a modello time. No, oh, that's embarrassing. All right. Well, that's fine, guys. I'll just. Well, that's yeah. That's cool. Yeah, no, that's fine. Yeah, yeah, no, that's cool. Oh, fuck me in the ass, dude. Code red and vodka? Are you just gonna throw up red all night? That sounds miserable. So sugary, too. Alright, my teammate let me die. Everybody's let me die. It, mm -mm. What if I actually just used my gun in long range situations and then just switched to the knife when I wanted to be sleuthy, you know, like now? Where the fuck? Where the fuck? Alright, I used my entire dead silence to literally run around. Okay! Perfect. Really great. Mountain Dew Code Red was banned because it had far too much sugar in Canada. Like 62 grams of added sugar. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Ooh. Not watching, or not knowing what Code Red is and watching COD. So, Call of Duty and Mountain Dew stopped doing the promotions for specific, like, for Code Red stuff like that ages ago. I think that was back in, like, original Modern Warfare 2 days. Oh, shit. What the fuck is going on? That's the most American thing ever. How about missing somebody standing still? Thoughts? That's on me. Alright, well that was bad. The new Mountain Dew has 72 grams of added sugar. Oh my god. Oh my god. This Monster Rehab Peach Tea has 25 calories and 3 grams of added sugar. Mountain Dew Zero. Have you tried hard Mountain Dew? No thanks, I'm good. No thank you. No thanks. Mm, thought about it. No thank you. All full. All good. I'm full. Thank you. All you drink is sparkling water. What is your favorite? Grandpa Warbucks, thank you for the 48 months. Happy birthday. Appreciate that. Yeah, I've had a couple people recommend ice. I think we might give it a go next time we see it. I've seen it in the uh, in the uh, grocery store. Liquid death is great and all, but the problem is that now that Insomniac uses it for its primary water source, I can't drink it casually because it's the only drink that I ever have mixed with vodka in the green room. So. This is the Call of Duty that Biden wants you to play. I'm bored. 
I knew he'd be there. Sentinel gameplay. Yeah. Liquid death is spring water, right? Yeah, it is. I know I can see my laser. What the fuck is happening? Here's the problem. Like I said, because I had a halfway normal, decent game, I'll call it. Last game, I'm going to be put with... Alright, let me... Um, I'm going to be put with some gamers. And that's an unfortunate circumstance. Bro. Look at this guy. Look at these guys. Here we go. Get me up. Yep, here we go. Here we go. All right, here we go, guys. It's time. You already know. No, you don't leave them. Here's what you gotta do. All right, we gotta mute. Homeboy. Oh my god, no. I gotta be able to hear. Alright, once I'm... Now that I'm able to hear, things are looking good. Alright, this is where you flank them around. God damn- oh shit. Okay. Never mind. Every time there's a UAV, there's no problem whatsoever. Because that's what this game is. It's just UAV Central, once again, but even more disgusting. What if I just swam the entire time? Online. What the dick? I don't want to do this no more. Become shark? Yeah, what if I just swam in the waters and just use this to, like, literally just eat people? I'm coming for you. Can you execute underwater? I don't even know. We should try that out. Look, somebody got a... What? Fucking A, dude. Yeah, I'm just having fun. Any game that I've deemed too hard and too sweaty to try in. Okay. I'm just like, alright, what's the point in what's the point in trying? Just might as well run around and like you know. Like look at this. Are you kidding me? You want me to like you want me to do anything about about in, in this? Now here's a banger. You leave? I don't leave games. I don't know why. I just have some weird pride thing. Man, I'm just like bleed God. What the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? He just panicked. He was like, ah! He's gonna make a Twitter post. He's like, I fucking can't stand these dicks. Oh, 
Just terrorizing people in here. How does an RPG not kill you? Dude, you don't understand riot shields? Are you kidding me? Alright, goodbye. Why'd I spawn behind them all? Alright, ready? As long as I don't have a... Oh. Fuck. I was drinking. What? See, that's the only way to have fun in a lobby like that. Close game, close game. Six is hit. Cool, 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 cool. Close game, close game. Yeah, I think I should do stuns, and I think I should do... No prestige, excuse me? Yeah, no prestige until Wednesday. And then you go through to like 100 or something. I know this because I was level 61 at the end of the Call of Duty event. <laughs> Two fifty. Yeah, that generally does happen. Is what I feel. Why is he there? Intervention is in this one? Yes, sort of. This is it. This is it. It's not really it, but this is it. I mean, it is, but it's not. I mean, it is, but it's not. You know, it is, but it isn't, you know? It is, but it's not. No. Imagine if I had hit a collat there with the last bullet. Oh my God. Anyways, that's the, oh God, my clat. Oh God, my aim is so bad. What the fuck are you doing? Oh my god. What the? Dude, I'm playing against bots right now. This is what happens after you get rolled and you just... You literally just... You literally just get rolled after knifing and getting... And having fun. And then... And then they're like, whoops, sorry sir. Didn't realize you were fucking dog shit. <laughs> Actual bots, dude. If I posted a Twitter clip from here, people would be like, uh, hmm. Like, guys, you don't understand. It was just, it was, uh...
Yeah, Dragula, baby. Oh, dick. Yeah, why are these lobbies my... Yeah, where are these lobbies in my game? Or bro must be so bad. Bro must have spent all day reverse boosting, boosting to get this. Like... Nah, dude, they're just trash. That's the secret I think that people don't understand. Is like, if you try to get clips every game, guess what? You're gonna get, like, if you sweat it out every game, like, you're gonna get people who, who want to sweat it out every game. It's just like the way things are. Doesn't mean it's right, it just is. So like, I'm just like, any game that I deem too gross, like, like this game, like this, oh God, this game is literally like fun. I'm not sweating as hard as I can. We're, where it's an even game, maybe I'll get another one of these or like whatever, but I just got my ass handed to me. So I just like, that's why I did my little fucking, uh, little uh god damn i can't speak my little knife only how did that not work people who complain about score-based matchmaking complain about oh yeah try try every game no i agree people are like i'm mad that i can't try every game and be competitive and then like also chill out when i want to and it's like well i mean you can you just you literally you literally can you just gotta like play like casually every time. And if I wanna try really hard, I will either play with friends who try really hard and, and like I'll lean forward or like I'll just play a couple games with like an AR. Ew. Yeah, it's cheap. <laughs> it's not cheap. I was just mad that he jumped backwards slowly. I don't think there's a suppressor that... T there's a barrel that tunes for ADS speed, it seems like. Alright, he's getting his mounted challenge, and I'm going to literally have my aneurysm. Ooh. What? Oh, did he die? Rip. Hmm. Hmm. No. Yeah, no. Hostile UAV in the area. Yeah, I knew it, dude. Somebody was coming. All the barrels hurt ADS. Really? Pretty sure one of them doesn't. I don't know. Maybe I'm just misremembering, but I think it's level 16. That's why I was just looking at it. Oh no. We've secured two objectives. <laughs> Ripped. Alrighty, that's not great. Dislike that. No, my collateral headshot. Dude, COD HUD skins would actually slap. What a great idea. I would literally, I would definitely pay for a COD Modern Warfare 2 classic skin. Especially given how bad they are. Like this, the HUD.
No! Classic hit marker sounds? I mean, you can change those. What do you mean? Literally just, well, I mean, they just go to classic and get a hit marker sound. What the hell? No, my clat! Actually, though, there's a clat there again. Wait, the Victus? Did that thing? Is this thing... Is the Victus the new gun? When did that come out? Uh, am I, or am I misremembering? Yeah, that's what we like to call fucking spawn management there, Chiefs. Give me the fucking 360. Oh, fuck. Oh shit, no, my clap. Next game will be super uber tryhard. It's good. Because I don't have an excuse to not care about my KD and then just fucking grind the ones that aren't fun. Like, what? Like, turn around, brother. Guys. 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 No. Oh my god, I didn't even look. Wow, it's tight. How can they cap if they're always dead? Me. Explaining to my teammates why I have one cap. I love playing jo Oh god. No, 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 no. Nice. Uh, are we gonna do more zoomies? What do you mean? I've only got one more game left in me before I gotta go make dinner. <laughs> Which means I'm gonna get fucking ruined. What are you making for dinner? Uh, I'm gonna be making either arrabbiata penne with just that, even though I hope that she's going to let me make salmon and hello? How many fucking snacks are you gonna make? Huh? Oh, maybe I am wrong. Hmm. I don't know. Let me try this. Also, oh god, wait. 
She's conditioning you to fat you up for the annual feast? I know, dude. It's crazy. I know. I know, the knife is so gross. Just so rude. What? But it's just like, I want the red camo, you know? You can just do. hell no why you turn around just run you bitch no Dude, everybody's looking, man. Kaylee's a professional wrestler for Snackdown. That's hilarious, dude. Snack Overflow CEO. That's actually what she's gonna do as a side hustle once she stops once it, wanting to be a vet. She's gonna do Snack Overflow. It's gonna be a fucking. Uh, it's gonna be a snack review channel. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh god. Oh god. What is this? Hello? Hello? What? What is this? Dude, they're pissed. They're peeved. Snack review could be a good bit for shitty cooking. You're right. That's funny that he couldn't kill me because of my uh, riot shield. Oh, that's a problem. What would we have to do? Like, get food from, like, strange countries? I have an idea, ready? I run at people, and then when I get close to them, they see me, I crouch and I... I have an idea. I run at people, and then I crouch and I look, and I go backwards like this. And they can't do anything about it. What do you mean by strange countries? I mean like, uh, you, uh, I meant strange snacks from countries, not strange countries. PM. Literally, I want like the, like, I want the like Pringles, um, like, like stroganoff from Russia, which I saw. The reason I'm saying this is there's a place on Melrose that sells like world snacks. That's like, um, it's not. It's like Western based um, companies, but selling international flavors. So like Kit Kat, but selling like, you know, the green tea Kit Kats, which are fire. But also selling like, uh, I don't know what else. Huh. Buy snacks, do World Cup group stages and knockouts? Dude, that'd be fucking sick, actually. 
a World Cups World Cup of snacks. Would I be able to even get like a snack from each place? That'd be so fucking good though. I'm gonna maybe see if I could do that. That'd be a great idea. I don't know he's being that guy. What's that guy? I legitimately think it would be dope to have uh, this sheltered woman eat all. Like, I'm trying to think of what could possibly be like a Polish snack that she's had. Okay. Okay. Daily life in London? Oi, bro, you got a license for that? Yeah, I'm shanking here. 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 funny it's tough oh my bad oh you can call that in Oh no. Well, that's a good game to end it on, you know? <laughs> Look at this shit. Oh my god. I didn't die there though, I promise. Hey. Top fragging with a knife, and I, yeah, I didn't even do that crazy. All right, anyways, get me out of here. Thanks for hanging out, guys. I appreciate I appreciated that. Uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Reminder: stream will end a little bit early at four Pacific because I'm going to be doing a sponsored thing with Amazon for the mixed plate, which I went and did a dish with Chef Andy um, a couple weeks ago. So I'm going to raid their channel and do an interview with them. Oh God, please the hiccups. Um, I will see you guys though. Normal time tomorrow for uh, some CSGO. So thanks for hanging. Appreciate it. Talk to you guys later.